Now Lake TV brings you live the high school game of the week. Brought to you by Camdenton Save-A-Lot Food Store. Rick Ball Ford in Sedalia. Burger Smokehouse, simple tradition since 1952. And Quick Car, wash, detail, and lube. Lake TV's William Holtz. We're live here at beautiful Victor Field in Eldon, Missouri, where the Hogan Prep Rams are here to take on the Eldon Mustangs. And I'm joined by my talented color commentator, Matt Wamser. Matt, tell us a little bit about this Eldon team. Well, uh, Eldon's uh, head coach, Shannon Jolly, is in his seventh season, coming off a record of uh, 25 and 43 over the last seven years. Coach Jolly came over from Osage about seven years ago and has accomplished great success here at Eldon. Last week, the team went 142 to eight with a win over College Prep at Madison in St. Louis. That game was played on Saturday at 10:30 due to the heat. Yeah, they moved that game up, and that was a game that Eldon got off to a quick start and ended up winning 42-8. A year ago, they finished with a nine and four record, and they finished with their second consecutive district title and finished as a seven best, seventh best team in Class Three in the whole state of Missouri. And that's exactly what Shannon Jolly is hoping to build on. This year, they started the regular season with a 6-3 and three record, and they went 3-0 and oh in district play. They beat Versailles, Salem, and Ava before they fell 43-0 to zero to a Seneca team in the state quarterfinals. As far as the Hogan Prep Rams are concerned, their head coach, Phil Lascola, is entering his 21st season at the school. And if you talk about a high school dynasty, talk about schools like Camdenton, right up there with them as far as prestige is this Hogan Prep team. He carries a record of 156 with only 59 losses in his tenure. They were the state runner-up in 2006, and in 12 of their last 13 seasons, they've won at least seven games. Last year, they went 11-1, and one, and they outscored their opponents by a mind-boggling 383-57, to 57, including a 121-0 to zero over their first two ball games. And that was a loss to Oak Grove late in the year in the district finals that knocked them out and made their... their season what you could have been an unscathed unblemished season before that loss coach Lascola was even honored last year after they started 3-0 as the KC Chiefs honorary coach of the week quite an honor that would be Absolutely. now let's look at a couple players to watch Matt yeah for prep, look out for number 17 Tyus Franks he's a big wide receiver with unusual size for this level whether or not Levi Shin, Cole Hendrick or uh, Colin Tam line up against this kid you better look out he's up for a big performance no doubt. You touched on Shannon. That's my player to watch for the Mustangs. Number 22 last week came off a very good game. He had 15 carries for a buck 45, and he found the end zone twice. He also does the kicking duty for the Mustangs. And talking with Shannon Jolly, that's where he was most impressed with Levi was his kicking last week, and Elvin's going to hope to win the field position game. So before we start this one, we're about to, be, we're about to kick off right here at Victor Field. But before we do, let's give a shout out to a couple of our sponsors. Yeah, Lake TV would like to thank Burger Smokehouse. They've been serving up simple tradition since 1952. That's Burger Smokehouse in California, Missouri. They ship custom gift packs to all 50 states. It doesn't get much better than that. Visit them online at smokehouse.com and place your order. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from the start of this one. Both teams, we said, are 1-0. and set to kick off and Eldon is going to receive the kickoff, so we're about to get underway in a ball game that a lot of people around the state I talked with throughout the week, they said, I think Hogan Prep's going to come in here and take care of business, but not so fast. This is an Eldon team that likes to run a wishbone set. They got three or four running backs deep, two quarterbacks that'll line up, so they got players all over the field, and they're young, as Coach Henderson and I talked about in the pregame. Only three seniors on the team, and only one will start tonight. Here we go. And the boot is end over end. Back to receive it for the Mustangs. He's got a little bit of daylight up to the 35 and up into there at the 37 yard line. And that's Hedrick. We talked about him in the pregame. He's going to line up in the secondary and he'll do the kick returning duties. And a very, very nice return. And Eldon with good field position here to start. So Elvin now, Nick Hendricks under center. They got that wishbone set we talked about. Here's the handoff. That's number 32 for the Mustangs, or 33. Shane Randall, rather, with the carry. And that's a good start for the Mustangs. Positive yard situation. They get 
seven on first down, and that's going to bring up a second down and three. Yeah, great way to start the game, run up the middle, pick up seven yards. Let's move it to second down. And you're talking about an offensive line that dominated last year. Eldon surmassed 4,000 yards on the ground last year. They'll look to build on that on inside. Give to Randall once again. He's across midfield and up to the 47-yard line. So these Mustangs off to a very quick start right here. Yeah, this wishbone's looking pretty effective for him right now. Running two runs right up the middle with positive yardage. I like the way Shannon Jolly is going to mix it up. He puts the guy in motion. You freeze the defense a little bit, and then you get a quick handoff inside to your fullback, and he gets positive yardage there. So first down and 10. They're in the 46-yard line of Hogan Prep. Under center here is Hedricks. Out to the right side, and that's Levi Shin putting his shoulder down, and he'll get a gain of five. So Eldon, four plays, four runs. Been very, very effective. It's like Eldon came, came out to play this Friday night. Well, that's a good start. You don't want to get too excited early, but you do get positive yardage on your first four plays all on the ground, and you got to get excited. You want to get this crowd here at Victor Field involved. We're still in the wishbone set. Hendricks under center. He gives the inside give to Randall once again, but staying home this time is a nice defensive play by Marquise Jones, the senior for Hogan Prep. He gets a modest gain of one, maybe two, and that's going to bring up a third down and four here for the Mustangs. So here's our first third down situation for Eldon. Comes up the 940, Mark Hendricks under center. Oh, and it looks like we have a player jumping. We'll see, it is offside. That's gonna be an automatic first down, so. While the refs get this sorted out, let's thank Quick Car, our sponsor. A quick car is a happy car. Treat your car, truck, van, or SUV to a wash job this week at Quick Car. They're on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. That's quick car wash and detail. William Bradley King, the junior, was a little over eager. And I'll tell you what, that's a big penalty here early in the ballgame. The Mustangs get a free first down out of it. Hendricks to handoff outside. And that's going to be Shen, and he's up to the 32-yard line. So he'll get another three yards on the ground. Damon Buford, the sophomore, he's going to get the stop. You hear the charismatic voice on the PA system. That's Dan Heron. He's been doing this for a handful of years here at Eldon ever since I can remember. Second down and seven now. A very impressive opening drive for the maroon and gold here in Eldon. Hendricks under center. Fake the inside give, then shin the tailback falls ahead. And he's got positive yardage. He's very near the first down marker. Looks to be about... Probably a football shy of the first down. And Number 16, Terrence Pryor on the tackle. They're going to bring up third and short. Yeah, it's going to be a third and short, so third and inches here. We'll see if the Mustangs can move the sticks. They've been, been faced with one third down so far. They were able to draw Hogan Prep off sides. We'll see what they draw up on third and one. Hendricks under center. The handoff, that's Shane Randall once again, and he's got the first down. And then some, he carriers, or he carries a would-be Hogan prep tackle. Tackler, that's Darrell Rozell, the junior. He carried him for another five yards after the initial contact was made, Matt. Yeah, Randall's done a great job of just putting his foot in the ground and getting upfield, getting positive yardage for this Mustang offense. Got enough to pick up a first down here at the 15-yard line of the of Hogan Prep. So first and 10 at the 15 of Hogan Prep. This drive eating up four minutes thus far. Here's the handoff. It's Shen. He's got some daylight up to the five, and he's down inside the five of the four-yard line. That's good for 12 yards on first and 10. So an excellent carry, and Shen looking very impressive thus far. Absolutely. The, uh, the wishbone seems to be catching Hogan Prep a little off balance. Just getting a little hesitation from the defense and opening up big holes for the Mustang offense. So here first and goal inside the five of Hogan Prep. We'll see if Eldon can take advantage of this first drive. And they sure will. It's Shane Randall up the middle. He bulldozes his way into the end zone. 
And the Mustangs are on the board early. This That's first touchdown was brought to you by Rick Ball Auto Mall. When other dealers tell you nobody can beat their deal, head to Rick Ball, Ford, Lincoln, and Sedalia and ask for nobody. Rick Ball for, for Lincoln, Ford, home of Mr. Nobody. So I'll tell you what, that drive eats up just about four minutes, 23 seconds, and they get into the house. And I'll tell you what, you couldn't have scripted a much better start for an Elvin team that's considered an underdog in this one. Yeah, great start. Looks like the Elden fans just let off the balloons and saluted the first Elden touchdown. It's quite the sight. Tell you what, as far as high school kickers are concerned, this Levi Shin's one of the better ones. And like I said, that one flies 20 yards past the uprights. So after a little over four and a half minutes of play, your Elden Mustangs lead the Hogan Prep Rams by a score of 7 to 0. You're watching Lake TV's coverage of high school football. Yes. save a lot we know every dollar means a lot we make it easy to save on the things you need not aisle after aisle of products that you don't so you save up to 40 percent on every trip save a lot savings made easy visit your local save a lot in camdenton located on north business route 5. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Ball Ford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-in, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. We're back here on Lake TV as the Elden Mustangs set to kick off, and here's Levi Shen. He gets into this one. That's a beautiful looking kick. Back to return are the Rams, and so daylight, that's number nine. We have a laundry on the field. That's Damon Buford, the sophomore. He takes it up to the 24 yard line. We'll wait to see what the flag is. Lake TV would like to thank its sponsor, Save A Lot. Are you a smart saver? You can be by joining Save A Lot Smart Shoppers Club. It's free. Just visit savealot.com and click on Smart Shoppers Club. You can always save a lot when you shop at Save A Lot in Camdenton, just north of Camdenton on Route 5. That's an illegal block in the back on the Rams, and so good coverage by the Mustangs after an outstanding kickoff by Levi Shin. We touched on that in the pregame. Kid's got an excellent boot. We're going to wait and see where they back this one up to. Yacht Club Power Sports, the nation's number one sea -Doo dealer, is here at the Lake of the Ozarks. Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach. Stop by and check out the August invoice sale for the lowest prices of the year. That's Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach and online at YC, ycpowersports.com. That'll back the Rams up to the 14-yard line. So that's a costly 10-yard penalty on special teams. And quarterback Morgan Peterson, the junior, now under center. He's got a slew of Rams in the backfield with him. He's going to give the handoff. That's his running back, Edward Collins, and he is eaten alive by these Mustang defenders. Let's talk about the starters for the Mustangs. Across the board on defense, you're going to have Tate Warney, Josh Johns, Chris Lemons, Tristan Warney, Cole Hedrick, Garrett Scribner, Thaxton May, Dalton Shoemate, Dale Folsom, and Graham Bacham. Now, Bacham a year ago, he was an all-district player, and he paved the way for, like we touched on, over 4,000 Eldon rushing yards. And this offensive line looks just as good this year as it may have a year ago. So two-yard gain on the carry by Collins. Peterson under center once again. Here's the pitch out to Collins. He makes a guy miss. He falls forward only for a gain of one. He lost his footing, and he may have had some daylight had he been able to stay on his feet. So it looks like Collins is going to get the not early here at running back. They've got a handful of guys. That'll do the running duty. So here's a third down and six now for the Rams. We'll see what this Mustang defense can do. You see Levi Shin playing safety. Bottom of your screen, Owen Tam. He'll be covering the ever so talented wide receiver. Here's the pitch out. That's number 32. He's got some daylight up in it and a great tackle 
in on the play, and that's Shin coming from the safety position to make the hit. Yeah, Eldon's defense with a great job there, staying home, not getting fooled by the play action, and making a great tackle in the open field. So Deron Davis, the ball carrier in my direction, that was actually Cole Hedrick in on the stop, and that's going to bring up a fourth down and three. We'll see what Coach Lascola decides to do. He's got his punting unit out here. Fourth and three now, the 545 mark. Here's the snap, the punt. Oh, that's got to be fair catch interference. It's a fumble blown dead, and that is a fair catch interference. Very dangerous play. We'll see if there's laundry on the field. There should be. The punt returner just laid out prior to the ball arriving, so we'll see what the call is. This will be an interesting call here. While the refs sort this out, let's thank Burger Smokehouse for, for sponsoring Friday Night Football on Lake TV. If you're looking for a way to say howdy, how about a food or gift package from Burger Smokehouse? They ship nationwide, all 50 states. Burger Smokehouse, that's Highway 87 in California, Missouri, and online at smokehouse.com. So my mistake, before we go to commercial break, it looked as if we'd have a fair catch interference, but it was simultaneous contact, so great timing by the Hogan Prep defender. Therefore, it's a fumble, and Hogan Prep takes over at their own 46-yard line. You are watching Lake TV's High School Football. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. Coverage continues here. I'm William Holtz, joined by Matt Wamser here. And I'll tell you what, good start for Eldon. They hold him on three and out, forced a punt, but then a costly mistake to not call for a fair catch. So after the fumble, Hogan Prep takes back over at their own 46-yard line at the 538 mark of this first quarter. Morgan Peterson, the quarterback, he's an athlete. I saw him down on the field before the game, and this kid is chiseled. Peterson under center. In motion is Grigsby. They're going to give it to one of their favorite targets. That's number three, Edward Collins, the ball carrier. Shin in on the initial stop for the Mustangs after a gain of four. Good job by the Mustangs defense there, swarming to the football and making a tackle. Trenton Kidwell also in on the stop for these Mustangs. So after the stop, that'll bring up a second down and six. Interesting set you see run here by Hogan Prep. Peterson under center. Gives it to his fullback, Davis. He makes a couple of guys miss. He turns, he's still on his feet. And he just rumbles his way all the way down to the 26-yard line of Eldon. That's a 24-yard gain on second down. That's an impressive run right there for the young man. Yeah, the first big play for Hogan Prep. A great job by number 32 getting outside and getting downfield. Deron Davis, not a kid you're going to be able to afford to one-arm tackle. He's six foot weighing in at 175 listed at, but he looks every bit of 185 plus. So that'll bring up first down and 10. Under center is Peterson. Four wide receivers in motion is Grigsby. He's going to get the sweep to the outside. Good block right there by Davis and a nice job by Hedrick to fight off the block. And another positive yard situation. We'll give him 13 yards. Yeah, Grigsby with a great play there. He's really got some quick feet. He looks to be the playmaker on this offense. Really got some speed and kicked, got the ball to the outside. Yeah, Owen Tam in on the stop for the Mustangs, but not before a 13-yard gain and another first down for Hogan Prep. So to clarify, we called earlier that the extra point by Shin was good after the touchdown, and apparently he missed it wide left, so 6-0 is your score. First down out of the shotgun, here's Peterson. He's looking left to the end zone. He's got his man in an outstanding grab by number five. 
to Ron Roselle, the junior, standing at 5'11". Look to be a little out of his reach. He reaches out with one paw, pulls it in, and ties this ball game at six. What a grab by the junior. Got to love the effort at the high school level. These kids leaving it all out on the field. And that couldn't be more true than it was for Roselle on that play. Full extension, pulled it in. It's too bad we don't have an ESPN crew here, as you could see that on top 10 tonight. So they're lining up for the two-point conversion, and we're going to get a false start, it looks like. Lake TV would like to thank Rick Ball Auto Mall. Come check out the all-new 2015 Ford F-150. Be the first in your town to own one. We're taking orders right now for the totally redesigned F-150. That's Rick Ball Auto Mall, Ford Lincoln in Sedalia. So the Mustangs, the culprit actually on that penalty, they jumped early, so half the distance to the goal and they'll retry their two point conversion. Peterson under center. Grigsby, Collins and Davis in the backfield with him. And the ball's on the ground and it's recovered by Quarterback Peterson, but it's short of the two-point conversion, so the Mustangs able to get the stop, and this score is tied at 6-6. We're going to give you a commercial break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back. You're watching Lake Area Football on Lake TV. You're watching Lake TV, your visitor information station, on Charter Cable Channel 197 and Como Connect Channel 90 or from anywhere at MyLakeTV.com. Stay tuned to Lake TV to get all the latest on activities and attractions, events, entertainment, boating, outdoors, shopping, lake history, and dining at Lake of the Ozarks. Back here at beautiful Victor Field in Eldon, Missouri, and couldn't have drawn up a much better start if you're a football fan here and you're non-biased because we got two scoring drives and a turnover already and we've still got 4-11 remaining in this first quarter and we're knotted at six. Matt? Yeah, we've got a great start to this. The Mustangs and the Rams going head to head. We've got it tied 6-6, six 4-11 six, left in the first quarter here. Hogan Prep getting set to kick off. That's a big kicker they got there. Number 62, Delshawn Newsom. Left footer, he kicks it here and back to return for the Mustangs. That's number 10, Austin Kempker, the sophomore. He's got a little room, shakes a tackle up to the 25, maybe 26 yard line. Quick car wash in detail. Here's a deal that's hard to pass up from Quick Car, the $20 a month unlimited wash club. Wash your vehicle as often as you like, even every day for 20 bucks a month. Join the club today at Quick Car, Lake of the Ozarks. So on the first series for the Mustangs, a heavy dose of running. You saw whether it was Levi Shin or Shane Randall, they were definitely running the ball and they'll start right there inside to Randall. He's up ahead for a couple yards, but we do have a flag on the play. Lake TV would like to thank its sponsor, Save-A-Lot. At Save-A-Lot, you can always save a lot when you're there. Prove it to yourself by shopping this weekend at Save-A-Lot on Route 5 North in Camdenton. Save a lot food stores where smart shoppers save a lot every day. So, either an illegal formation or a legal procedure by the Mustangs backing them up five yards, and we'll replay this first down here. First down and 15 now. Hendricks still in there at quarterback. We will see sophomore Austin Kempker in there as well tonight at some point in time, I'd imagine. Hendricks, the misdirection play, he'll keep it himself, lower his shoulder and get about four yards, so a good little misdirection play and positive yards. So second down and 11 now for the Mustangs. We've got all the Lake Area teams in action tonight, and it was a rarity last week. All five of our teams in our coverage area got off to winning starts, and we'll talk about those games here in a minute. Hendricks under center. He's going to give it to Shen. Shen upended, and then he'll be spun forward. He fumbles the ball, and it's picked up by number seven, Brian Jackson for the Rams. 
has a takeaway already. The second Eldon turnover, and Hogan Prep has it at the 22-yard line of Eldon. That's going to be a costly turnover right there in their own end, and you can't give a team like Hogan Prep that kind of field position and not expect them to capitalize. Yeah, Hogan Prep working with a short field on this possession. Let's, uh, let's see if the Eldon defense can make a big stand. So first down and 10 now under center is Peterson. He's got the three backs in the backfield with him. There's a false start. They started early. So we've also got for sales. They were winners last week, 26 to nothing at Knob Noster. This week they're going to play at Fulton. Osage, we had that game, of course, last week for you on Lake TV. They beat Fulton 41 to 14, and they're going to play at Moberly tonight. Of course, Camdenton, they had a, they got off to a quick start last week at Springfield Hillcrest by a score of 35 to 14. They're down in Springfield again. They'll play West Plains tonight. In California versus Mexico, they beat Boonville by the score of 44-0 last week. And like I said, they'll be hosting Mexico. We'll have score updates for those games in a little bit. So Peterson, here's the handoff. And that's his man number three once again. Collins, and he rumbles forward for about a gain of three. Yeah, Hogan Prep giving us a steady bit of run game here to start the first quarter. Doing a pretty good job of uh, moving the ball upfield. Second down and 13 now. Here we go with this shotgun. You see two wide receivers at the bottom of your screen. Two wide receivers up top, and out of the shotgun is Peterson. Grigsby in motion. He's going to get the handoff. Makes a guy miss, and outside here comes Shin. He can't seem to bring him down, and Grigsby makes a couple of guys miss. And positive yardage all the way up to the 15-yard line. That's good for 10 yards, and I'll tell you, the Mustangs had their opportunities to stop that play before it started. Yeah, Grigsby's looking really shifty out there, using his agility, just breaking tackles left and right. Uh, great effort by number one for uh, for Hogan Prep. Both Randall and Shen had opportunities to stop him, like we said, but that Grigsby's tough to bring down. He's only 5'9", but he is shifty, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. So third down and three here for the Rams. They're out of the wishbone set. Here's the inside give off to Davis. He rumbles forward. He's got the first down after a gain of five. Number 32, Deron Davis on the It's a big third down conversion right there by Hogan Prep, picking up the first down, getting another chance to get some points on the board here in the first quarter. Yeah, this Mustang defense now on their heels a little bit after holding him, giving up a turnover, and the offense turns it over. They've been out there now for quite some time, and that third down could prove costly after they allow the Rams to convert. So Peterson now. And motions Davis. He has a hard time. He gets a lucky bounce. Makes a guy miss. He's to the outside. And he steps out at about the three-yard line, just shy of a touchdown on first and ten. I'll tell you what, these ball carriers for Hogan Prep are very tough to tackle. They've got the speed and the size. And Eldon defenders really showing they may struggle to get a grip on these guys. Yeah, the Rams showing great power up front. Really uh, keeping their knees high, just driving through tackles doing anything they can to pick up positive yardage. So second down and three from the four yard line. Same set we've seen offensively, Peterson under center. He's gonna give it to his guy, that's number three, Collins, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. So Hogan Prep capitalizes on the Eldon turnover. Let's see, the far sideline says no touchdown, the one nearest to us signal touchdown but now it looks like he takes that back so that is good for the first down inside the one yard line but no touchdown so first and goal now for the Rams number three Edward Collins carrying the ball first down Rams Hogan Prep gonna have three opportunities here to put it in the end zone from the half yard line let's see if they give it to one of their big backs try to get in the end zone yeah you know what's coming here Inside the one-yard line, you've got those three guys back there, Collins, Davis, and of course Grigsby, and they're going to miss direction. It's Collins, and he's into the end zone untouched. So Hogan Prep does score off the Eldon fumble. That proves 
Very costly in the score now, 12 to six. Rams take the lead for the first time tonight. That touchdown was brought to you by Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach. They're proud to announce the addition of nine new product lines such as Vespa, Polaris, Kawasaki, Ducati, and more. Now Yacht Club Power Sports can deliver the best selection and the best prices. Check out their dealership in Osage Beach for a great deal. That drive takes just a couple of minutes and only 25 yards covered. Here's the handoff and that's Grigsby for the two point conversion and he is able to keep his balance long enough to fall ahead and convert the two point conversion. So 14-6, the Rams lead over Eldon. You're watching Lake Area TV's coverage of high school football. Things are looking up. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports. On the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride. Like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of High V. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. Now, 0% APR means hot savings. Right here at Rick Ball Ford. Get spectacular Ford savings in almost every car and SUV with 0% for 72 months. 0% six years. Hot summer deal at family owned Rick Ball Ford, Boonville and Sedalia. And Lake TV's coverage APR of high school football savings. continues Right here at Rick Ball Ford. So Eldon's turnover proving very, very costly and capitalizing are the Hogan Prep Rams. The score is 14 to six. Delshan Newsom now set to kick for the Rams. Back to return for the Mustangs. There's Randall. And back again now to get that for the Mustang. It's Kempker, he's up ahead, he's got some room. Look out over to the 40 and he's all the way up to the 41 yard line, so nice return by Kempker, the sophomore, who's gonna get a little bit of action at quarterback most likely. He did a week ago. That's an impressive return, and we'll see if the Mustangs can't keep it moving. Yeah, you can hear the Eldon fans jumping right back into it. They're looking for something to cheer for, get behind their Mustangs. Yeah, you wouldn't expect a group like Eldon here to go away easy, and one turnover and scoring drive will definitely won't let them die easy. So Hendricks under center. Here's the handoff to Shen. They're gonna give it right back to him after the fumble. And that's gonna be a five yard carry. And that's gonna conclude the first quarter of play. Eldon Mustangs, Hogan Prep Rams. You're watching Lake TV's High School Football. Vehicle. It's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional. Every time. Hi, I'm Steven Berger, and this is my brother, Philip. As you know, Steven, back in 1952, a small block building was constructed on our grandparents' farm. It was called the Ham House. Since then, it's grown tremendously, and so have the number of choices. People frequently ask, what is the best ham I can buy? The answer is, it depends. Of course, the next question is, it depends on what? It depends on the flavor you prefer. We have three kinds of ham, country, city, and European style. Let's start with country ham. These hams are cured using our family recipe and an aging process that gives them a distinctive flavor. There are two kinds of country ham, Southern Smokehouse and Attic Aged. Southern Smokehouse hams are aged up to six months. The color will be a light pink, the texture firm but not tough, and have a pleasant smoky aroma. We we're, and we're back here on Lake TV for the start of the second quarter. Under center, Nick Hendricks, the junior quarterback for the Mustangs. He gives it ahead and that's Shane Randall. And he gets about another four yards, so back-to-back -back four yard plays, and that'll bring up a third down and two. A very big third down and two as far as Eldon's concerned. They don't want to put that defense right back out on the field after giving up back-to-back -back touchdowns. Yeah, they really got to keep some offensive possession here, give their defenders a chance to rest up and get ready for that potent uh, Hogan prep offense. 
So third down and two now at the 49-yard line. Under center's Hendricks. He gives it ahead, and that's going to be Shen who keeps the ball moving. That's good for a first down. He gets five. So nice job by Shin. No, it's Randall, rather, who gets the carry, and he gains five yards. And that's going to bring up a first down and 10 at the 47-yard line of Hogan Prep. So the Mustangs do a good job to convert the first down. We've yet to see them even try a pass thus far. All running thus far. Hendricks under center. He's going to keep it. Rolls outside. Some nice blocking. Big hit. And he gets about four yards. And Graham Bacham does a nice job sealing the edge for the initial block. And Hendricks, he has four yards. Yeah, number 50 for uh, Hogan Prep. William Bradley came up and made a big hit on that play. So that's still a run play. We've yet to see a pass attempt. Now under center is Hendricks. He's got two wide receivers. Here's the pitch out to Shin. He cuts back inside, makes the first guy miss. And he's got a, just a couple of yards, a very modest gain. Tell you what, these are some pretty sure-handed tacklers that Hogan Prep puts out there. Yeah, I saw, him, I saw them warming up before the game. Coach did a really good job of getting them ready for the football game. They were out there hitting, even in warm-ups. Coach Jolly was concerned about tackling. He said, we've got to get the first guy to the ball and we've got to get him to get a tackle, wrap up and bring him down. And thus far, that's really been the story for the Eldon defense. Hendricks underneath center. He rolls out, he throws, he's got his man. That's Randall across the 30, the ball's on the ground. They blow it dead, so he is down. Randall gets lit up, but it is good for a first down. And the referee, even though he wasn't down, they say the ground caused the fumble. Eldon maintained possession, first down. Huge play by the Eldon offense. Down, we had num number three, Hendricks rolling out right, completing a pass, picking up a first down for the Mustang offense. That's a huge play so far in this game. And Randall, very fortunate that the ground caused that fumble because from our viewpoint, it really looked like it could have been a fumble and the, Bull or the Rams could have covered. Under center's Hendrick, he gives it to Shen, he falls forward and he is just buried by number four, Traden Bradell and 61, Carlos Stone. So we're going to give Shen three yards on the play. That's going to bring up a second down and seven with 9-10 remaining. Eldon has it at the 25-yard line of Hogan Prep. Under centers Hendricks. Quick snap, he gives it ahead to Randall. And Randall falls forward. He's got about five, and that's close to a first down. He's about a yard and a half shy. So that'll bring up a third down and two. And the Mustangs doing a good job of putting himself in a good third down position here. Third and two at the Hogan Prep 20 yard line. The Mustangs thus far. They are two for two on third down conversions, and we'll see if they can't keep that going. Actually, three for three after the last pass to Randall. Hendricks gives it to Shen. He runs into a wall, but I think he has the first down. The initial spot, we'll see where they spot it, but I think Shen has it. We'll see. And they're going to call him just about a half yard shy. So that's going to bring up a fourth down and one. And I would like to believe that Coach Jolly is going to keep his offense out on the field, and he will. And Eldon is, no, the official is going to burn a timeout. Maybe we'll see how far it is. No, they're going to keep it going now. So fourth and inches. Coach Jolly, like we said, keeps his offense out on the field. We'll see what he draws up here in a very crucial spot at fourth and one. Randall and Shin in the backfield. Hendricks under center. And it looks like Coach Jolly just trying to draw his team offside, and Coach Jolly's going to burn a timeout. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching Lake TV's High School Football. School football game of the week has been brought to you by Camdenton Save-A-Lot Food Stores. 
Rick Ball Ford in Sedalia, Burger Smokehouse, simple tradition since 1952, and Quick Car, wash, detail, and lube. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. We're back here on Lake TV. William Holtz joined by Matt Wamser in a very, very important fourth down and inches coming up for Coach Jolly's squad. After the timeout, we'll see what he draws up. As far as around the area, Camden 10 tied at West Plains 7 to 7. They're moving the ball deep into West Plains territory. Osage tied at Moberly at the start of that one, 7 to 7. And California takes a 14 to 0 lead against Mexico. And we've yet to get a Versailles update. Hendricks under center, he gives it to Shin, Randall rather, and he moves forward, he has the first down, he gains four yards up ahead to the 15 yard line, so nice job on the carry. So the Mustangs will convert on the fourth down. Move over, Honey Baked Ham, there's a new country ham in town. It's Burger Smokehouse in California, Missouri. It's one of the largest, largest ham producers in the US. Try one and you'll see why, visit them online at smokehouse.com. So really impressive job by the Mustangs. They needed a first down and they get just that. They now have first down and 10 at the 15 yard line of Hogan Prep. Here's Shen outside off the handoff. He cuts inside and he's up into there by number nine, Damon Buford in on the stop. After about a three yard gain on first down. So second down and seven upcoming for the Mustangs. Elden offense is doing a great job on this drive. Really eating up a lot of clock, giving the defenders an opportunity to rest, catch their breath, and get ready for their next series. It started with a great play on special teams. Now the inside give to Randall. He gets about a three yard gain again, and that's gonna bring up a third down and three. Mustangs continuing to eat up little chunks of yardage. Mustangs three for four on third downs thus far through this ball game. And they'll need to convert here on a third down and three. They're all the way inside the 10 yard line already. They've got it at the eight yard line is where we have it spotted. We'll see if these Mustangs can't punch it in here. So, so Elvin burns their second timeout within recent memory and we're going to give you a commercial break. You're watching Lake TV's High School Football. Hi, I'm Steven Berger and this is my brother Philip. As you know Steven, back in 1952 a small block building was constructed on our grandparents farm. It was called the Ham House. Since then it's grown tremendously and so have the number of choices. People frequently ask, what is the best ham I can buy? The answer is, it depends. Of course, the next question is, it depends on what? It depends on the flavor you prefer. We have three kinds of ham, country, city, and European style. Let's start with country ham. These hams are cured using our family recipe and an aging process that gives them a distinctive flavor. There are two kinds of country ham, Southern Smokehouse and Attic Aged. Southern Smokehouse hams are aged up to six months. The color will be a light pink, the texture firm but not tough, and have a pleasant smoky aroma. We use enough salt to preserve the ham, but it's not overwhelming. We're back here on Lake TV, and third down and three now for the Mustangs. They've got it at the eight yard line of the Hogan Prep Rams. Here's the carry at Shin, and oh, what a play! Fighting off the block of Graham Bacham and making an outstanding tackle in the backfield. Who is that young man? That's number 61 once again, Carlos Stone, the senior. What a play. He blew through Graham Bacham, and that's a two yard loss. So, Coach Jolly got to keep his offense out on the field. Here, fourth down and five now. This is quite a big play for the Mustangs. Oh, and fumbled, that's a missed 
Opportunity for the Mustangs rolling out, looking to pass. Quarterback Nick's, Nick Hendricks, great coverage by the defense, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. While we have a minute, there's a new herd of 2015 Mustangs headed for Rick Ball, Ford, Lincoln, and Sedalia. Check them out today at rickballfordsedalia.com. That's Rick Ball, Ford, Lincoln, and Sedalia, home of Mr. Nobody. So don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. Hogan Prep will maintain possession. You're watching Lake TV's High School Football. TV brings you live the high school game of the week. Brought to you by Camdenton Save-A-Lot Food Store. Rick Ball Ford in Sedalia. Burger's Smokehouse. Simple tradition since 1952. And Quick Car. Wash, detail, and lube. 0% APR means hot savings. Right here at Rick Ball Ford. Get spectacular Ford savings in almost every car and SUV with 0% for 72 months. 0% six years. Hot summer deal. At family-owned Rick Ball Ford. Boonville and Sedalia. Welcome to Lake of the Ozarks. You're watching Lake TV, your visitor information station on Charter Cable Channel 197 and Como Connect Channel 90 or from anywhere at MyLakeTV.com. Stay tuned to Lake TV to get all the latest on activities and attractions, events, entertainment, boating. And we return here on Lake TV under centers Peterson. He's going to give it to Davis, who's outside, and there he goes to the 30, to the 40. It'll be a foot race to the 30, to the 20, the 10, and to the house. One play, touchdown to Ron Davis, and a beautiful run by the sophomore. He takes it 87 yards, and Hogan Prep now extends this lead 20 to 6. Now that Ram scoring drive was brought to you by Quick Car Wash and Detail. Selling or trading your old vehicle for new, chances are you'll get more out of it if you have it detailed at Quick Car. Their detailing team is second to none. That's Quick Car on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Check them out. So it didn't take long after the turnover on downs and an impressive stand by the Hogan Prep defense and their offense capitalizes. Peterson under center. And he's going to give it to his man. That's Collins and he'll be stopped short so the two-point conversion is no good and Eldon holds their ground after giving up a large chunky yardage on the touchdown so your score is 20 to 6 Hogan Prep leads at the 520 mark of the second quarter you're watching Lake TV's coverage of high school football Dude. at save a lot we know every dollar means a lot we make it easy to save on the things you need not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot. Savings made easy. Visit your local Save a Lot in Camdenton. Located on North Business Route 5. Things are looking up. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports. On the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride. Like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of Hy-Vee. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. And Lake TV's coverage continues. I'm William Holtz, joined by Matt Wamser. And I'll tell you what, Eldon. Gets off to a fast start, taking a 6-0 lead. But coming in bunches are points for the Hogan Prep Rams. They've had 20 unanswered points. They've had two takeaways and a turnover on downs. And you can credit those to that. There's the kick by Newsom. That's fielded up at the 30-yard line and then taken down there. Great special teams coverage. And a swarm of Rams special teams players do the job there. So Elvin now starts at their own 33-yard line, and you're hoping that they can make a ball game here. They're going to have to eat up some clock and try to get down and punch it in before the halftime. So the Mustang crowd doing their part to try to get these Mustangs going. 
We'll see what happens here. Hendricks under center. No, actually it's Austin Kempker now. He rolls to the left. It's gonna be a keeper. He tries to get outside and he's eaten up there after a gain of one. They roll him dead for positive yardage and that doesn't matter to Jalen jo Jalen Jones who picks it up and he had different things in mind. He was running back the other way. But stop down there and my good buddy, Hall of Fame radio broadcaster, Mike Bissell, I had the pleasure of golfing with him yesterday. He covered Eldon last week and he said if Kempker's in the ball game, they may be looking to pass, so I thought we might see a pass, but Kempker keeps it. And Kempker now remains on the field. Under center. He takes the snap, he hands it to Shen. Shen lowers his head, rolls forward, and that's a good play. That's about a seven and a half yard game. We'll give him eight and that'll bring up a third down and one for the Mustangs. We've got a score update for the Versailles game. They're at Fulton, at Fulton and they're down 20 to zero at half. And I'll tell you what, Fulton must have fixed some things. They're still without their starting quarterback, Sam Christensen, but they're having their way with the one and over sales Tigers up there. And we got an official timeout for a measurement and why we do. We'd like to thank Save-A-Lot. You'll save more this Labor Day weekend at Save-A-Lot. They've got chicken leg quarters, just 69 cents a pound. And Chiquita bananas, they're only 39 cents a pound. You're always gonna save a lot when you shop at Save-A-Lot. That's Route 5 North in Camdenton. Check them out, save your money. So Eldon now, they'll bring, that'll bring up a third down and one following the positive yards play by Levi Shin. So third down and one now. The Eldon Mustangs really want to convert here. Remaining out of quarterback is Austin Kepker, the sophomore. He's under center. He gives it ahead. That's a first down. I'll tell you what, these Rams hit very hard. That was after the first down, but ball carrier... Yeah, that was Randall in on the carry, and he got driven backwards and hit maliciously. I'll tell you what, these guys are ball players for Hogan Prep. Give the Eldon kids credit because they're playing with them up to this point. Yeah, Hogan Prep has really picked up the intensity in this second quarter. So now first down and 10 for the Mustangs. They've got it at their own 45-yard line. Kempke remains in at quarterback. Shen and Randall in the backfield. It's going to be Shen. He gets outside. He's got some room and he's tripped up. Great tackle by number five, Deron Roselle. Otherwise, Shen may have taken that one all the way to the house. He does get eight yards on the first down carry, and that'll bring up a second down and two. Yeah, two, two similar plays right, uh, right in a row there by Eldon. He's kind of swinging out Randall out the right side, looking for him to break one down this right sideline. And Shen, if he had not got tripped up, like I said, he may have taken that one to the house. They give him nine on second and one. It's Randall up the middle. He stays on his feet, and there he goes all the way down to the 35-yard line. What a carry by Shane Randall, the young man doing his job. He got hit after about a five-yard gain, and he takes it all the way down to the 31. That's 15 yards on the carry. Yeah, Randall's putting the team on his back right now. Just driving the football up the field and picking up another first down for the Mustangs. So the Mustangs with no huddle offense here. Kempker under center. He's going to keep it. He gets outside. He's got some daylight. He steps back inside and he would have made a guy miss. So really nice tackle there by Tyus Franks. You talked about him in the pregame. He stayed home and made a nice tackle, but not before Kempker's able to gain seven yards on first down. 237 remaining here in this first half of play. Mustangs have it at the 24-yard line of Hogan Prep, and they're faced with a second down and three here. Kempker, the inside give to Randall. He falls forward, and he's got a first down again. That'll move the sticks, or will it? Number 32, Shane Randall carrying the ball. We have an official timeout. Well, it looks like they'll measure, so... They're looking to get a first down carry here on third down and one. Maybe if they got the first down, we have an official measurement. And it is good for the first down like we had thought. So 
Nice job by Eldon there to convert on third down, or second down rather, and get the first down. Really nice job, and we'll continue to see if Eldon can keep this moving on this possession. That's another. So Kepker now lighting a spark for the Mustangs. This drive, they're driving it under center. Okay, oh, we got a false starter. Something happened, laundry on the field. Eldon doing a nice job after the scoring play. Hogan Prep now, they've scored 20 unanswered points. Eldon's doing a good job to hang in there and just try to get a little momentum going. Right, doing a great job here in the second half, second quarter. <laughs> They'll keep it moving now. The Mustangs face with a first and 15 after a false start penalty. Under center is Kempker. And do they do it again? We'll see. It could be Hogan Prepper, is it Eldon? Doing the same thing. While we wait. If you're looking to put some spark in your life, check out a brand new Sea Dew Spark from Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach. They're starting at just $49.99. Spark up your life and have some fun at Yacht Club Power Sports. Tell you what, that's back to back fall start plays. I can't make Coach Jolly happy. As an Elvin team, you're in a dogfight right here against the Hogan Prep team. Can't really afford to give up back to back plays. That's a 10 yard loss. And they'll be faced with first down and 20 now. Outside now is quarterback Kempker. He stays home and he's going to be taken down. That's Tyus Franks, the senior, in on the sack, and that butches him. Way back. I don't know if Kempker knew it, but he was out of the tackle. He could have just thrown that one out of bounds and saved the yardage. So after the back-to-back -back false start plays. So the Mustangs now are going to burn a timeout. They're going to be faced with a second down and forever, it seems. So Coach Jolly burns his last timeout of the first half. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Lake TV's Game of the Week. You're watching Lake TV, your visitor information station on Charter Cable Channel 197 and Como Connect Channel 90 or from anywhere at MyLakeTV.com. Stay tuned to Lake TV to get all the latest on activities and attractions, events, entertainment, boating, outdoors, shopping, lake history, and dining at Lake of the Ozarks. We're back here on Lake TV and the Mustangs now back-to-back -back fall starts and then a sack. So Kempker's faced with second and 25 and audible. They're going to be out of the shotgun. Four wide receivers. Kempker now rolls out. He throws. He's got his man far sideline. That falls incomplete. So third down and 25 upcoming for the Mustangs. And this drive coming to a halt quickly for Coach Jolly's team. Yeah, he was looking to hit his tight end, number 84, Tim Fisher. Just couldn't get on the same page. Fisher's a big kid, you know. That was a play that even if he did catch it, he was only going to have a couple yards in the flat. So, nonetheless, third down and 25 at the one-minute mark of the first half. Coach Jolly will see what he draws up on a third and 25. Kemp out of the shotgun. Trip wide receivers, bottom of your screen. They're going to throw the other way. That's Randall now. They're going to get a hold in the flat, trying to make a block on a would-be tackler. We're going to have a hold in the flat, so that will come back. Garrett Scribner trying to do a little too much on that play. Absolutely. Why the refs sort this out, let's talk about Burger Smokehouse. It's the best bacon in the country, hands down, and it comes from California. California, Missouri, that is. Once you've tasted Burger Smokehouse bacon, you'll never buy any other brand. Visit them at smokehouse.com and bring home the bacon. Yeah, you got to like the decision by Coach Lascola there for the Rams. He declines the penalty. Don't give him another shot at it. It's fourth and 22. They gain only three yards on the third and 25. So that'll bring out the punting unit for Eldon, you would think.
Back to punt is Levi Shin. Back to return. Brian Jackson, the senior. Or is that Grigsby back there? I think, I think Shin Jackson. The punt. It's Jackson. That'll bounce inside the five and roll into the end zone. So not enough hang time on that one. And the, the Rams will get the ball at the 20-yard line. They've got a 20-6 lead. We'll see if Coach Lascola will be content with their 14-point lead at the half, or will he try to extend that with only 26 seconds to go? So Peterson, the quarterback for the Rams. Under center. He's going to go talk to the official, as you see. This Elden crowd a little stunned. They got off to a quick 6 nothing start like we talked about. And, yeah, Peterson will take a knee. And that will conclude your first half. The Hogan Prep Rams are going to take a 20-6 lead into the half, it looks like. But the offense stays on the field. So we'll see if maybe they're not going to try one play here and get a touchdown. No, they're going to let it extend. So that's going to conclude our first half. Like we said, Hogan Prep leads by a score of 20 to 6. You're watching Lake TV's Game of the Week. Come right back. We'll have the halftime show after this. Halftime scores. Let's get them. Hi, I'm Steven Berger, and this is my brother, Philip. As you know, Steven, back in 1952, a small block building was constructed on our grandparents' farm. It was called the Ham House. Since then, it's grown tremendously, and so have the number of choices. People frequently ask, what is the best ham I can buy? The answer is, it depends. Of course, the next question is, it depends on what? It depends on the flavor you prefer. We have three kinds of ham, country, city, and European style. Let's start with country ham. These hams are cured using our family recipe and an aging process that gives them a distinctive flavor. There are two kinds of country ham, Southern Smokehouse and Attic Aged. Southern Smokehouse hams are aged up to six months. The color will be a light pink, the texture firm but not tough, and have a pleasant smoky aroma. We use enough salt to preserve the ham, but it's not overwhelming. They're available cooked and uncooked. Southern Smokehouse hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter B at the beginning of the item number. Attic aged hams are aged up to nine months. The additional age will create a deeper red color, a slightly firmer texture, and a more robust flavor. The presence of salt may be a little more noticeable due to the extended aging process. These are also available cooked or uncooked. Attic aged hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter A at the beginning of the item number. Now let's talk about our popular city hams. They are moist cured, which means they are marinated in our special recipe. The result is a ham that is moist and tender. They are famous for their pleasing balance of sweetness with an accent of real hickory smoke. All city hams are cooked and can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter H at the beginning of the item number. Spiral slice city hams are very popular because the flavor is widely accepted and they are a convenient centerpiece for any occasion. The dry curing methods used to make our country ham came from Europe many years ago. Out of respect for their great curing tradition, we offer several European style hams. These hams are typically sliced paper thin and consumed uncooked. We offer prosciutto, black forest, Westphalian, and German country hams. They are often used to complement other foods. Okay, Philip, this sounds pretty simple. We have two kinds of country ham, the milder southern smokehouse and the more robust attic aged. We also have our very popular city ham, as well as several European style hams. But there are a lot of options to choose from. There are a lot of options to choose from because we offer many different sizes and services that allow you to choose just the right ham. The catalog or website will tell you if the ham is cooked, sliced, glazed, or pepper coated, as well as describe any other unique features. We take pride in offering the largest selection of Craftsman quality ham products available anywhere in the United States. We look forward to becoming a part of your family's tradition. Burger Smokehouse, simple traditions since 1952. What we do.
Next, we will showcase the color guard under the field direction of Rachel Seek and Alicia Henson as they perform to an old-time favorite, Twist and Shout. Lake TV's William Holtz joined by Eldon Athletic Director Steve Henderson. Steve, thanks for joining us, buddy. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming tonight. Uh, our pleasure. Big game here tonight. Eldon's hosting Hogan Prep. Two teams yet to lose. What's key tonight in Eldon staying with a team like Hogan Prep? Well, they're pretty athletic and they're pretty quick on the edges, so what we need to do is contain them inside the tackles and keep them from getting out on the edge and running and getting loose. If we can do that and uh, limit our turnovers, I think we've got a chance. It's a very good Hogan Prep team, but also a very good Eldon team off back-to-back -back district championships. And it's not just a football program here at Eldon that's striving. Talk a little bit about the overall activities department at Eldon. Well, our athletics has really grown the last few years. We've decided to make it one of our flagships, kind of put some more money into it, build it. Obviously, we've got the new stadium that we're building. You know, we've got here our next phase is to build a new baseball stadium next to it. Uh, in the next few years, you know, we have a lot of different things in the works with athletics because we want to host. We hosted a sectional track meet last year. We want to start hosting more events on the district and state level because we want to showcase our facilities. We've got great athletes, great fans, and we just want to. We're proud of Eldon, and we want people to come here and see it. Off back-to-back -back district championships, but you look at a team like it's won back-to-back -back district championships. You think they've got to be experienced? Like not necessarily the case here. Only three seniors on the roster, and only one gets the start tonight. Talk to you about your young guys and what they've been able to do. Well, the good thing that even though we have low numbers, we've got a junior class that's been really strong and got a lot of time and a lot of experience the last couple of years. We've got a few of them that actually played as a freshman, had played significant minutes, and have made some major contributions. So. In essence, we're young and they would say we're inexperienced, but we have a lot of experience out there. We probably got eight kids that have played many important minutes for this team. So I, I feel pretty good. We've got a long way to go. We're young still with some of those other guys filling in spots we lost last year. But I feel like 
as the season goes on. You know, this first few games is a brutal test for us. We've got a, this is our toughest stretch of the season. But if we can get through here healthy, maybe get some wins out of the, on our belt in this, take it and make a run in the conference and see what we can do. Fantastic. We're going to end with this right here. Obviously, to our viewers right here, looks like a young guy, Steve Henderson, athletic director. This guy's been in the ranks as a head basketball coach for how many years? Talk to us about the transition from coaching, getting back into the athletic department. Well, I was a head coach at Tuscumbia for two years, and then I was here for seven years. I've been a coach most of my whole life. I've been in athletics. And when I stepped down a few years ago, I just there was a hole in my heart. I, I, I love being an administrator at Eldon. I love the school, but I always had that feeling like I needed to get a bit into, back into athletics. And when this opportunity jumped, I, I couldn't help but take it and run with it. And, you know, my job is to make these kids shine. I, I don't, I'm not the face of this program. Our kids are, and I want them to shine, and I want them to get the accolades that, that is necessary. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that for them. And I can speak on this man, my high school science teacher, a man for the position because he pours into the kids. I can speak for that individually. Steve, thanks for joining us, my man, Thank and good you. luck the rest Will, of the thanks way. Thanks a lot. Thanks for Absolutely. coming. Absolutely. All right. Fantastic. Not bad for Thank a We're back here on Lake TV. We're going to have the Burgers Smokehouse halftime report. What were your thoughts of the first half, Matt? Well, I think Eldon started out about as good as you can imagine. They had a great first drive, got in the end zone, got some points on the board, kind of getting comfortable in the game a little bit. Then they have come out with another great defensive stand, hold Hogan prep to, I think, a three and out in the first quarter. And then it all kind of changed. I flipped on its head there on that turnover on the punt, on the special teams turnover. Yeah, I'll tell you that, that Shane Randall got the Mustang started after an impressive drive. He punched it in from three yards out. And like you talked about, the Mustangs did their job on defense, three and out. And then a special teams play. It was a punt return where the kick should, could have been a kick catch interference. Right. If you ask me, it wasn't called. Hogan Prep takes advantage, and they follow with a nice one-hand touchdown grab by Duran Rozelle from 14 yards out. That tied the ball game at 6-6. Six to six. Duran Davis then took the ball. 87 yards of the house, and that was right after the Mustangs were knocking on the doorstep. They had it first and 10 at the 11-yard line of Hogan Prep. That point in that time, they were down 14 to zero or 14 to six. It looked like they were going to be able to try to tie the ball game or pull within at least two points. They got stopped on downs in the very next play. Davis took it 87 yards of the house, and it was just a really good first half. The Mustangs also fumbled the ball. Hogan Prep was able to capitalize on that. And Hogan Prep has not turned the ball over. They've tackled soundly, and Eldon struggled to bring down those Hogan Prep defenders. Absolutely. Hogan Prep's done a great job of securing the ball. They've kept, they've kept the ball on the ground the entire game tonight, which is working for them well. They're running the ball out of the backfield, picking up huge chunks of yards. Like you said, this 87-yard touchdown score. So really, Eldon just needs to get a couple defensive stops, get back in the game, and really see what, see what happens here in the second half. You know, Eldon is doing their part. They're going to kick off to Hogan Prep, and if they can come out and get a stop and then try to move down the field and get some points, Coach Jolly's team's not out of this one yet, but it's going to be important that they cut down on the turnovers. Before we ended the first half, they had back-to-back -back false starts, followed by a sack. When you have negative plays against a team of Hogan Prep's caliber, you really put yourself in a tough position. Yeah, absolutely. Both these teams have been playing a, a really competitive game. We've had a really close game here. The score doesn't necessarily reflect that right now. Eldon missed out on an opportunity there in the second quarter. But it's been a really competitive game, and I think the second half is going to be just as good, if not better. Yeah, we're excited because you have a team of Hogan Prep's caliber. They come into our coverage area, and you know everyone talked about this week. I talked with football personalities all over the state of Missouri. Hall of Fame radio broadcaster Mike Bissell, and clearly Hogan Prep's the favorite coming in this. They're one of the best teams in the state. They're a top 10 team in the state, and they play at a high level. This game wasn't even on the schedule for Eldon until midway through the summer, and Eldon looked like they were going to do their part, and they still could hang in there. They're going to have to cut down on the turnovers, and they're going to have to cut down on the stupid penalties. If they can do that, Eldon will have a shot to get back in this ballgame. You've been watching Lake TV's Halftime show brought to you by Burger Smokehouse. We'll have the second half of this ball game after this. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. Now Lake TV brings you live the high school game of the week. Brought to you by Camdenton Save-A-Lot Food Store. Rick Ball Ford in Sedalia. Burger Smokehouse, simple tradition since 1952. And quick car, wash, detail, and lube. 
your vehicle. It's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. At Save A Lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot. Savings made easy. Visit your local Save a Lot in Camdenton. Located on North Business Route 5. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Balford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-ins, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. Welcome to Lake of the Ozarks. You're watching Lake TV, your visitor information station on Charter Cable Channel 197 and Como Connect Channel 90 or from anywhere at MyLakeTV.com. Stay tuned to Lake TV to get all the latest on activities and attractions, events, entertainment, boating, outdoors, shopping, lake history, and dining at Lake of the Ozarks. Things are looking up. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports. On the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride. Like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new sea Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of High V. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. Now Lake TV brings you live the high school game of the week. Brought to you by Camdenton Save-A-Lot Food Store. Rick Ball Ford in Sedalia. Burger Smokehouse, simple tradition since 1952. And Quick Car, wash, detail, and lube. Hi, I'm Stephen Berger, and this is my brother, Philip. As you know, Stephen, back in 1952, a small block building was constructed on our grandparents' farm. It was called the Ham House. Since then, it's grown tremendously, and so have the number of choices. People frequently ask, what is the best ham I can buy? The answer is, it depends. Of course, the next question is, it depends on what? It depends on the flavor you prefer. We have three kinds of ham, country, city, and European style. Let's start with country ham. These hams are cured using our family recipe and an aging process that gives them a distinctive flavor. There are two kinds of country ham, Southern Smokehouse and Attic Aged. Southern Smokehouse hams are aged up to six months. The color will be a light pink, the texture firm but not tough, and have a pleasant smoky aroma. We use enough salt to preserve the ham, but it's not overwhelming. They're available cooked and uncooked. Southern Smokehouse hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter B at the beginning of the item number. Attic aged hams are aged up to nine months. The additional age will create a deeper red color, a slightly firmer texture, and a more robust flavor. The presence of salt may be a little more noticeable due to the extended aging process. These are also available cooked or uncooked. Attic aged hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter A at the beginning of the item number. Now let's talk about our popular city hams. They are moist cured, which means they are marinated in our special recipe. The result is a ham that is moist and tender. They are famous for their pleasing balance of sweetness with an accent of real hickory smoke. All city hams are cooked and can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter H at the beginning of the item number. Spiral slice city hams are very popular because the flavor Looks is like widely accepted with that light. and they are a convenient centerpiece for any occasion. The dry curing methods used to make our country ham came from Europe many years ago. TV returns for our second half of our game of the week between Eldon and Hogan Prep. Hogan Prep leads by a score of 20 to 6. And brought to you by Sable, we're going to go around the Lake area coverage. 
Right now, California leads the Mexico Bulldogs by a score of 21 to zero. Camden tied at West Plains at 13 apiece. Osage tied at Moberly at 14 apiece. And the Versailles Tigers trail at Fulton by a score of 20 to zero. We're gonna have the second half of this one right after this. Yeah. And we're back here on Leg TV and second half set to kick off. The Mustangs will be kicking off to the Rams in a rough first half. We talked about it on the pregame, the way it kind of unfolded there for Eldon. But I'm sure Coach Jolly gave him a talking to at the break, and we'll see if they can't get a stop here early and try to get this thing turned around momentum-wise. So Levi Shin, the excellent kicker, he'll boot it away. And back for the Bulldogs, Damon or DeMonte High. And they're gonna try an onside, and that one effective, and it's rolled onto by number 79, it appeared to be. I don't have a 79 on the roster. That's a big kid out there for the Rams, and they're trying to be sneaky, but that'll give the Rams excellent field position here to start this first half. Yeah, it's great awareness by number 79 on Hogan Prep, just doing whatever he can to get on that football, make sure he secures it for his team. So we'll take over at the 48 yard line here. Under center is Peterson. And motions Brigsby, they don't give it to him, it's ahead. Well, it's a would-be tackler and still going, rumbling his way through would-be Elvin tacklers, Deron Davis. He had a great first half, rushing for over 100 yards. A lot of that accounting for on the 87-yard touchdown run. But man, what a bruising running back this kid is. Yeah, what a great job of picking up, picking up a first down, running right up the gut, breaking off about two, three tackles. Mustangs just couldn't seem to get their arms wrapped around him and get him to the ground. And that's good for 12 yards on the first play. So first down now at the Eldon 40 yard line. Peterson under center, he's gonna give it to his man. That's number three, Edward Collins, and he makes the first guy miss and then knocked out of bounds there after a short gain of one. That was a great play by the Mustangs defense, just kind of stretching that play out, pushing the running back to the sidelines, stretching it out, stretching out, giving nowhere to run, and using the sidelines as, a, as another tackler. Yeah, although it was only a one-yard gain, once again, Eldon was in the backfield with an opportunity to blow that play up, but Eldon couldn't wrap up Collins, and he's able to get positive yardage on it. So second down and nine now, Peterson under center. Here's the handoff, that's Collins, he's outside to the 20, to the 10, and to the house, touchdown. Rams, they start this second half, on this first half, just the way they end the second half, on a tear, that's 26 unanswered points for the Rams, and they're gonna lead 26 to six in the 11-10 mark of the third quarter. They waste no time covering 52 yards and 50 seconds, and extending this to a 20-point lead over the local Elvin Mustangs. That's a 38 yard run for Collins. Inside give and falling is Davis. He's unable to get in for the two point conversion. So Elvin gets the stop, it's 26 to six. You're watching Lake TV's coverage of high school football. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Ball Ford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-in, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. 
Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. Lake TV, and like we said, the Rams waste no time here picking up just where they left off in the first half. They take 50 seconds, go 52 yards, capitalized by a 38-yard run by Edward Collins. Here's the kickoff now. Taken at the 10 by number 10, Kempker, and he's upended and carries that to about the 27-yard line, and that's where the Mustangs will take over first down and 10. Lake TV would like to thank its sponsor, Burger Smokehouse. They've been serving up simple traditions since 1952. That's Burger Smokehouse in California, Missouri. They ship custom gift packs to all 50 states. It doesn't get much better than that. Visit them online at smokehouse.com and place your order. As a coach, this is where, as Shannon Jolly gets to kind of find out, early in the year, what are we made out of, guys? You're down against a big team. Let's see some fight. They're going to keep it on the ground on first down, and that's about a three-yard gain on first and 10 across the 30. And Levi Shin, or nope, actually Shane Randall, the ball carrier. He gets seven for three, and that'll bring up a second down and seven. And Pryor, the tackler for the Rams, they hit hard. Hendricks back out at quarterback, the junior. Nick Hendricks under center. Inside give, and that's Shane Randall. And he's driven backwards. Another solid hit, but not before Randall's able to gain five yards, and that'll bring up a third down and three. Yeah, Randall's been doing a great job tonight, moving the ball on the ground for the Mustang offense and just picking up chunks of yardage and making hard runs every time they give him the football. So third down and two now for Eldon. We'll see if they can't capitalize on starting with the ball. Kempker hands off and ahead forward now. That's Randall again. It looks like he's got enough for the first down. Nice job by the Mustangs to convert. And that's good for four yards. And like I said, Eldon first down. Yeah, what a, a, a great start to this drive. Eldon Mustangs really need to keep the ball for a little while. Move the ball down the field and get some points on the board, get back in this football game. So first down and 10 now, they've got it at the 40 yard line, or just shy of it. Under center, Kempker now rushes outside. Some good blocking outside. We got a flag and it's gonna be a hold outside and that's gonna be Lawless, the culprit. Hunter Lawless, the junior, got a little over antsy and he holds Damon Buford. Buford been all over the place. It would have been a positive play. Lawless has to know. Can't really hold in that situation. Let's take the positive yardage and just take it. While we while we got a break here, let's thank Rig Ball Auto Mall. When all the other dealers tell you nobody can beat their deal, head to Rick Ball Ford Lincoln in Sedalia and ask for Mr. Nobody. That's Rick Ball Ford Lincoln, home of Mr. Nobody in Sedalia. So that hold was 10 yards down the field, so it's gonna back him up right to the original yardage marker, and that'll bring up first down and 10 once again, and that'll negate a nice run by Kempker. He had some yardage outside, but like we said, that'll be negated on the hold. So first down and 10 at the 920 mark of this third quarter. Nick Hendricks a quarterback rather on the last run and Hendricks will remain in there. He's going to give it to Shen, who's up in his nice tackle once again for the Rams. Terrence Pryor, the senior, he weighs 280 pounds. I'm not sure you could convince me to take a tackle from him. Actually a rare carry for Owen Tam, the junior, stepbrother of Levi Shen, younger brother of Logan Shen playing at Central Methodist in Fayette. He was a bruiser when he was here at Eldon 
He departed a few years ago and he's back to watch his brothers play. Hendricks outside the throw, that's deflected in the air and almost pulled in by Levi Shin in the flat. Very fortunate for the Mustangs. That one wasn't intercepted. So after the incomplete falls harmlessly to the ground, that'll bring up a third down and eight for these Mustangs. They have it at their own 41 yard line with 8.30 remaining in this third quarter of play. Yeah, this Hogan prep defense has really picked up the energy here. Uh, ever since I think it started about the start of the second quarter, they're just carrying it over here to the second half and doing a great job of getting to the Eldon ball carrier. Hendricks, now he has his man, that's Shin up the seam and a nice pass and a better play by Shin to haul it in. And a beautiful play by Coach Jolly John up on third down. And that's good for 27 yards. That's a similar play. You'll see the Missouri Tigers run a lot. Right up the seam, Shin comes out of the backfield. No one picks him up, he was wide open. And a great throw by Hendricks, giving his running back a chance to make a play, and that he did. There's the pitch, a little misdirection. No, Shin does a nice job, fakes the end around, and gets a positive yardage, a couple yards there. I thought he might pitch it to Tam coming on the end around, but he holds on to it and gains a couple of yards. Yeah, I think that was a wise decision, holding on to the football there and just picking up some positive yardage. This, this Eldon offense has really got an important drive going right now. Yeah, Coach Jolly here reaching in his bag of tricks early and it's paid dividends for the Mustangs. They've got it inside the 30 yard line of Hogan Prep. Shane Randall, the ball carrier up ahead. He's got about six, maybe seven yards on the second down carry. So Eldon slowly gaining some momentum here. They're all the way inside the 25 yard line. And we've got a timeout. We owe you a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Lake TV's coverage of Game of the Week. Welcome to Lake of the Ozarks. You're watching Lake TV, your visitor information station on Charter Cable Channel 197 and Como Connect Channel 90 or from anywhere at MyLakeTV.com. Stay tuned to Lake TV to get all the latest on activities and attractions, events, entertainment, boating, outdoors, shopping, lake history, and dining at Lake of the Ozarks. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Balford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-ins, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports, on the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride, like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of Hy-Vee. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. We're back here on Lake TV, and we've got a scoring break in the action. We got around the lake area by Rick Ball, Lincoln Ford, and Sedalia. And Osage Indians, right before the half, were able to sneak ahead and get a touchdown. They now lead at Moberly, 21-14. We'll try to keep you guys updated on that. And back to the action here now. Up the middle, the run by Randall, and he's got a first down on third down. So, Eldon, three consecutive conversions on third down. You've got to like that if you're Coach Jolly and the Eldon faithful here at Victor Field. Absolutely. I think the Eldon football team's doing a great job of trying to keep themselves in this football game right now. The third quarter, 7.09 left to go. They're on the uh, Hogan Prep 18-yard line looking to put some points on the board. So under center now is Hendricks. Fakes the hand out, he rolls outside, he's got some room, and he lowers his head, and what a play coming from the cornerback position outside. That's number nine, Damon Buford. Or Damon Buford, sorry, now he's made some plays from the cornerback position, and he just blew that play up. Yeah, he looked like he was shot out of a cannon. He came up from the cornerback position, made a big, big hit on the Mustang running back. Yeah, you can't blame 
Hendricks there, you saw him, he was getting ready to make a run for it, and then he saw Buford coming at him, lowers his head, and he's like, whoa, man. What a hit by Buford. So second down and nine. And we've got some early movement once again. That's the fifth false start against the Mustangs that I can remember, and that is driving Coach Jolly absolutely nuts on the Eldon sideline. Lake TV would like to thank Rick Ball Auto Mall. Come check out the all-new 2015 Ford F-150 and be the first in your town to own one. We're taking orders right now for the totally redesigned F-150 at Rick Ball Ford Lincoln in Sedalia. So Coach Jolly, he did you see the Hogan Prep sideline there. Coach Lascola in his 21st season, he's gotta like what he sees thus far. Hendricks now rolls out, throws into the flat, that deflected in a nice play by number six, Jalen Jones. He got a hand on it, otherwise maybe some room in the flat. Hendricks, he was looking for his tight end, Tim Fisher, and it's the second time he's been looking for him tonight, and they're just unable to hook up, so that'll bring up a very tough third and 14 from the Hogan Prep 22-yard line at the 549 mark in this third quarter. Yeah, I've, I've really been impressed with this Hogan Prep squad. Coach uh, Phil Escola has got them coached up very well, getting their hands up when a quarterback drops back to pass. That's at least the second one they've deflected now from the pocket. So here's Hendricks now. Floats one, he's got Shin at the five to the house, touchdown! That's the play we saw him run earlier on the third and long, and it works again. Shin out of the slot. A beautiful throw by Kempker, and Shin does his job making the catch, and he'll score from 22 yards out. So what a play drawn up by Elvin Coach Shannon Jolly, and the Mustangs right back in this one. Yeah, that Mustang touchdown was brought to you by Quick Car. A quick car is a happy car. Treat your car, truck, van, or SUV to a wash job this week at Quick Car. There are no Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Check them out. So what a play, and the Eldon Faithful loves that, and you gotta love that on third and 14. Illegal substitution by the Mustangs, and that flag thrown right there by the referee, and that'll back it up, but shouldn't be any problem. We talk about Shen, he just made that touchdown grab from 22 yards out, and he'll get an opportunity to show off his leg here I'd love to see him get a chance to kick a 45-yarder plus because he's got the leg for it. Here's the snap. Shin the kick. Plenty of leg, but he pulled it again. That would have been good from 45 plus, had the distance, but doesn't go through. So nice job by Eldon to get on the scoreboard. They trail Hogan Prep 12 to 26. We'll be back after this. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. 0% APR means hot savings. Right here at Rick Ball Ford. Get spectacular Ford savings in almost every car and SUV with 0% for 72 months. 0% six years. Hot summer deal. At family owned Rick Ball Ford, Boonville and Sedalia. We're back here and Eldon and the Mustangs do a great job. They allow a score here to start the half and they come right back and get it right back and that's on a nice 22 yard pass from Hendricks to Shen on a third and 14, and Shen now set to kick it deep. Look at his boot. That's into the end zone, that'll be a touchback, so beautiful throw, and appeared to be shaken up on the play, maybe, is number nine, Damon Buford. We'll keep an eye on that. This Lake TV production would not be possible without our sponsor, Save-A-Lot. 
Are you a smart saver? You can be by joining Save-A-Lot Smart Shoppers Club. It's free. Just visit Save-A-Lot.com and click on Smart Shoppers Club. And just remember, you can always save a lot when you shop at Save-A-Lot in Camdenton on North Route 5. So we'll see if the Elvin defense can get a takeaway here. I'll tell you what, they had seven or six a week ago against College Prep in Madison from St. Louis right here at Victor Field. Here's the inside give and a nice job by the Eldon tacklers to swarm around Brigsby, the ball carrier, and they did a nice job to limit his gain to very minimal. That was two yards. That'll bring up a second down and eight. Second down is going to be a crucial down here for the remainder of this quarter. Eldon's got to put some pressure on Hogan Prep and put them in some uncomfortable third down situations. Yeah, they've done a great job to fight back, fight their way back into this football game. Now their defense needs to come up with a big play and help them get even further back into this. So Peterson under center. Davis in motion and falling down is number three, the ball carrier, Edward Collins, the senior. Number three, Edward Collins. He's had a nice night so far. He's already scored and had a two-point conversion and that one he's just unable to get his footing. So Elvin now puts him in a third down and six situation. Shannon Jolly roaming the sidelines over there, cheering his defense on. Let's get a stop, guys, says Coach Jolly from the far sideline. Good opportunity for these defenders here. The maroon and gold. And here's Peterson rolling out now. He's going to keep it inside, unable to make the tackle. There he's outside, still on his feet. And what a block by Deron Davis the running back and that's going to springboard him all the way to the house and a beautiful job by quarterback Morgan Peterson the junior making a lot out of nothing and I'll tell you what what a block by Deron Davis there he was running down the field faster than his quarterback and he puts an Elvin defender on his I'd say butt for lack of a better word yeah absolutely Peterson looked like he was dropped back in the pocket to throw his first pass of the game Nothing was open for him, so he took, down, took off out of the left side of the pocket, had a couple of great blocks downfield, and got in the end zone for another Hogan Prep touchdown. That's what happens when you have a team full of athletes, right? When it looks like your defense is about to get a stop, Pete, the quarterback Peterson pulls a bag out of his tricks, and, or a trick out of his bag, and he goes all the way to the house. 76 yards and the two-point conversion. No good, Eldon able to stay home and stop him there, so... I score 32 to 12 at the 412 or the 410 mark of this third quarter. You're watching Lake TV's Friday night game of the week. Zero wow. percent APR means hot Seven. savings right here at Rick Ball Ford. Get spectacular Ford savings in almost every car and SUV with zero percent for 72 months. Zero percent six years. Hot summer deal at family-owned Rick Ball Ford, Boonville and Sedalia. Save a lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot, savings made easy. Visit your local Save a Lot in Camdenton, located on North Business Route 5. TV and set to kick it away is the bruising. Delshawn Newsom after a beautiful 76 yard run by quarterback Morgan Peterson. Nice job by him to make a play out of nothing. And here's the kick. Back is Kempker. He takes it inside his 10. He's got some room. He's up ahead. He's got some space. He's across midfield to the 40, down to the 30. And he rumbles his way out of bounds to the 22 yard line of Hogan Prep. And a nice job chasing him down. That's number seven, Brian Jackson, the senior, who made his way across the field. But a beautiful job by Austin Kempker to hit the hole and hit it hard. And here come the Mustangs right back after allowing a long play. Yeah, this Mustang team just, just refusing to give up in this football game, doing everything they can to compete here against Hogan Prep and doing a great job of it. Yeah, you wouldn't expect anything less from a Shannon Jolly coach team. This Eldon team, they are a run-first team, and they are tough this year. 
and look out because like we talked about, only three seniors on the roster. We've got a flag on the field. We'll wait to see who this one's against. While the refs sort this out, Lake TV would like to thank Yacht Club Power Sports, the nation's number one sea dew dealer here at Lake of the Ozarks. Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach. Stop by and check out the August invoice sale for the lowest prices of the year. That's Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach and online at ycpowersports.com. Yeah, that's going to be an illegal substitution against the Rams from Hogan Prep. Right there you had Roy Shearn coming onto the field a little late, number 66, the senior, and they flag him for that. So five yards, and Eldon will have it first down and five at the 18-yard line of Hogan Prep. Bottom of your screen, wide receiver Cole Hedrick. Here's Hendricks. He gives it outside to Shin. Cuts back inside, and he's got a gain of seven, maybe eight, and that's another Eldon first down. So Eldon's offense has been much more efficient to start this third quarter than they were in the first half. Yeah, I've really been impressed with Shin. He's been doing a great job this season. Every time he gets the football, he's picking up positive yardage and just making plays for this Mustang offense. Well, it's a two-headed race for these Elvin Mustangs out of the backfield. Whether it's Shane Randall or Levi Shin, these guys doing an excellent job keeping their team in the ball game. First down and 10 now outside is Hendricks. He's trying to get to the edge. And once again, guess who? Number nine, that's Damon Buford, the junior, who's or the sophomore, rather. He's made a handful of plays from that secondary position. That's a kid I'd be confident in saying you will definitely see play at the next level. Already making college-like plays as a sophomore and this Coach LaScola defense. Absolutely. Every time uh, Buford puts his foot in the ground, it looks like he was shot out of cannon coming up into the backfield and making a tackle. Hendricks now gives it up, and that's Randall. He has positive yardage and up near the five before being upended right there. And he gets up slow. We're going to give him four yards on the second down and ten play. So third down and six now. The Mustangs will look to see if they can keep this third down conversion streak going. They've started the second half. Four for their first four on third down. Third down and five, rather, from the six. That's good. Hendricks under center. He gives it to Shin. He follows his blockers. He's into the end zone for an Eldon touchdown. And that's going to pull your score to 18 to 32. Eldon just refusing to go away. And that's Shin's second score of the ballgame. That score, that Mustang scoring drive was brought to you by Burger Smokehouse. They've been serving simple tradition since 1952. That's Burger Smokehouse in California, Missouri. They can ship custom gift packs to all 50 states. It doesn't get much better than that. Visit them online at smokehouse.com and place your order now. Tell you what, not a lot of defense thus far in the second half. You've seen three scoring drives on three drives, two by Eldon and of course one by Hogan Prep. No, two by Hogan Prep, two by Eldon. So we haven't even completed the third quarter, and we've seen four scores already. Low snap out to Shin. He's going to throw it up and just throws it short, a little trickery, looking for his man in the back of the end zone. That's tight end, or is that fullback? No good on the conversion. So you're watching Lake TV's high school football coverage. We'll be back after this. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports, on the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride, like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new sea Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of High V. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. Things are looking up! Zero percent AP. Now Lake TV brings you live the high school game of the week. Brought to you by Camdenton Save-A-Lot Food Store, Rick Ball Ford in Sedalia, Burger Smokehouse, Simple Tradition Since 1952, and Quick Car, Wash, Detail, and Lou. Back here on Lake TV and Eldon, nice job. It's Logan Shin once again finding the end zone, this time on a six-yard touchdown run. 
on third and five from the six. So he'll set to kick it away. He boots it deep. This one back deep, and it's Buford from about three yards in. And he, once it's into the end zone, you can't return it in the high school level. That's why you saw Buford trying to take it out, and the referee stops it dead. Okay, why well, the Eldon uh, defense comes out on the field, let's take this opportunity and thank Rick Ball Auto Mall for making this broadcast possible. Without his support, we could not bring you Friday night game of the week here on Lake TV. There's a new herd of 2015 Mustangs heading for Rick Ball Ford Lincoln in Sedalia, so check them out today. RickBallFordSedalia.com. That's Rick Ball Ford Lincoln in Sedalia, home of Mr. Nobody. Check out the new Mustangs. So here we go now. 226 remaining in the third quarter. Peterson under center. Brigsby in motion. And there got to be a block in the back that the referees missed. Meanwhile, Brigsby gets to the outside and unable to get anything positive going. Eldon does a great job swarming to the ball carrier. And if you ask me, the referees missed a block in the back, back in the block backfield. And that's a nice tackle by number seven for the Mustangs. That's Christian Bourne, the 5'11 young man, coming in and making the stop. So second down and 10, 148 remaining here in this third quarter. The ball at the Hogan Prep 20 yard line. Peterson, a misdirection. Blown up in the backfield is Collins. He's still on his feet trying to make something positive. He does, and look at the young man go. Cuts back in the 40, all the way to the 50, and I they say it's safe to say this young man will score from 80 yards out on a play that should have been blown dead in the backfield. Quarterback Peterson and one of his favorite running backs, Edward Collins, run into each other, and two Mustangs had him stopped in the backfield before he shakes those tacklers and scampers 80 yards. And then at the 40 yard line, he stutter steps. Just an absolutely outstanding play. And that's a great run by the young man from 80 yards out, Edward Collins. Yeah, that Hogan prep scoring drive was brought to you by Quick Car Wash in detail. Here's the deal that's hard to pass up from Quick Car, the $20 a month unlimited wash club. Wash your vehicle as often as you like, even every day for 20 bucks a month. Join the club today at quickcar.com. Collins, his third touchdown already. He has a 38-yard run and now an 80-yard run here in the second half. And there's Brigsby, and he'll take it in for the two-point conversion. So a lot of scoring thus far in this third quarter of play. Hogan Preps extends their lead 40-18 to 18 over the Eldon Mustangs. You are watching Lake TV's high school football coverage. This high school football game of the week has ah, been brought to I'm you by Camden Finn Save a Lot Food Store. As you know, Stephen, Rick back Ball in Ford in Sedalia, Burger Smokehouse, Simple Tradition since 1952, it was and Quick Hammers. Car. Wash, detail, and loot. Back here in Eldon where it's becoming very evident to us that Hogan Prep is just full of ball players. Very athletic and we're gonna have an offsides on Hogan Prep, but I'll tell you what, every time Eldon puts themselves in a position to make a stop, the athleticism and strength of the Hogan Prep players pays dividends and ends up making them walk away with a score and that's big plays thus far. Yeah, absolutely. Another Eldon had him stopped, had a Hogan Prep stopped in the backfield and just an unbelievable play, individual effort by Edward Collins. Looked like the play was blown up in the backfield and just makes a couple of moves, ends up taking it down the right sideline, taking it to the house for another Hogan Prep score. Yeah, we talked about early on, we talked with Coach Jolly this week and he said, one thing is very crucial we have to wrap up and that's really been the story because Eldon's put themselves in position defensively 
to make crucial stops, just unable to make tackles on these big athletic playmakers of the Rams. So back there now is Hedrick. He takes it across the 40, just shy, and he'll take it there at the 38-yard line where Eldon will take over first and 10. Hedrick with the kickoff return for the Mustangs. The Eldon offense comes on the field. Let's thank our sponsor, Save A Lot. High value for your food dollar at true discount prices. That's what you find at Save A Lot. It's all about you and what you can save. Even more at Save A Lot's own brand. See for yourself. Shop at Save A Lot in Camden 10 or North Route 5. So the Elvin Mustangs now first and 10 at their own 38. Minute 25 left here in this third quarter of play. Eldon finds himself down by a score of 40 to 18. Outside is Hendricks. Hendricks, he stutter steps and then taken down. And that's, guess who, your guy you talked about in the pregame, Tyson Franks, the senior. 17, Tyus Franks. Franks, an athletic kid. He stands in big and looks like we're going to get a sideline violation on the sideline. I'll tell you what, Coach Lascola can't like that. Luckily for him, his Ram team leads by 22. Let's take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, Yacht Club Plower Sports. Without their support, this broadcast live on Lake TV would not be possible. You can find our game, Lake TV channel, on Charter 197, and now expanded onto the new Como network on Channel 90. Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach is proud to announce the addition of nine new product lines such as Vespa, Polaris, Kawasaki, Ducati, and more. Now Yacht Club can offer you the best selection and the best prices. Check out their dealership in Osage Beach for a great deal on any of your Power Sport toys. Hendricks now the give up ahead, Shane Randall, and he's going to be stopped there. And nice tackle on the play for the Rams, and they're really sound, and they're tackling. It's been some good plays here in this second half by Eldon that has allowed them to score on the seam play and then a nice run by Shin, but otherwise great tackling by the Rams. And now we're inside a minute to play. The clock shows 35 seconds and the Mustangs third and eight at their own 40 yard line. This third quarter coming to a close. Mustangs need to get going here if they want to get back in this ball game. Outside now, the throw towards the near side. Oh, there's got to be an interference call. And there is. Nice job by number eight, Cole Hedrick, trying to come back to the ball. And that'll be pass interference on number nine. That's our guy, Damon Buford. We've been talking about the sophomore all night. A little over eager on that play, and he doesn't allow the receiver an opportunity to come back and make a play. So that should be a spot foul. The Mustangs convert on the penalty and they'll get it at the 43 yard line of Hogan Prep. So you said a spot foul. Could, Will, can you tell me what exactly what exactly that means here at the Mustang. high school level? Mustang. Well at the high school level it looks like it may be different than my understanding. It just looks like they're gonna give a 10 yard penalty at the college or pro game. Illegal contacts from the quarterbacks in the pocket with the ball. Pass interference is when the ball is in the air. And that, at that level, is a spot foul. Nice run here by the Bruiser. That's number 12 on the play for the Mustangs. Chris Lehman, that's younger brother of Zach Lehman. The Mustangs stud last year. And that's going to conclude our third quarter of play. Your score, 40 to 18. Hogan Prep leads the Elvin Mustangs. You're watching High School Football on Lake TV. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports. On the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride. Like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of Hy-Vee. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Ball Ford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-in, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. 
your vehicle. It's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. Where the Mustangs find themselves down 22 points as we start this fourth quarter of play, and we'll see what they got up their sleeve here. Under center, that's quarterback Hendricks. Hendricks now he'll hand off. And that's a nice run by Lehman again. Now they're getting something going with this. Chris Lehman, we talked about the younger brother of Zach Lehman. Lemon, rather, I stand corrected. The 50, William Bradley King in on that last tackle. First down. So that's good for an Elvin first down. They've got it up to the 28-yard line of Hogan Prep. And they're going to have to score in bunches here in this fourth quarter. Here's the give. Levi Shin outside. He gets back. And a nice tackle by Buford. And assisting him on that one is number 50. We've talked about him. All night long, William Bradley King, the junior. And of course, you guys have heard Buford's name, the Damon Buford, the sophomore. Talking about it, that kid will play at the next level as a handful of these Rams from Hogan Prep shall in the next coming years. So 11-20 remaining in the ball game. Elvin has it second and three at the 21-yard line. Hendricks will hand up, and that's... Lemon again, and he's got another first down. That's good for about seven, maybe eight yards. So Elvin continues to move. They've got to keep it going quickly. See if we can get the clock rolling. The malfunction. That doesn't hurt the Mustangs' feelings at all. Cardinals-Cubs update for you baseball fans out there. The Cubs just tied the ball game on a solar home run. Tell you what, these young hitters for the Cubs are going to be impressive to watch over the next few years. Here's a desert or a late draw handoff, and that's going to be Shin, I believe, the ball carrier. He's got about three, maybe four. That'll bring up a second down and six, all the way down to the 11-yard line of Hogan Prep. They had that drive earlier with first and 10 at the Hogan Prep 11 in the second quarter. They were unable to score from there. They turned it over on downs and of course we all know the very next play was taken to the house by Deron Davis from 87 yards out. Here's the inside handoff looking to get something going. That's Lemon once again. Not a whole lot doing, maybe one, and that'll bring up a third down and five. For the Mustangs, and Lemon comes out, no, now being sent back in, and Shen will go to the sideline. Quarterback Nick Hendricks, the junior for Elvin, he's had a couple of big plays and done a nice job for his team tonight. They find themselves down 40 to 18 with 9.45 remaining. And Elvin going to be forced to take a timeout. I think Coach Jolly just wanted to get a look. This timeout brought to you by Burger Smokehouse. If you're looking for a new way to say howdy, how about a food or gift package from Burger Smokehouse? They ship nationwide, all 50 states. That's Burger Smokehouse on Highway 87 in California, Missouri, and online at smokehouse.com. Place an order. So Elvin now, they've got... All three timeouts, or no, they got two timeouts here in the second half left. They've only got 9.43 in this ball game, and they're going to have to score here in a hurry if they're going to want to get back into this one. I'll tell you what, you've seen a handful of young guys in there for Elvin. You talk about only three seniors, though. They're only going to graduate one starter. This team's going to be scary good by the end of this year. Very tough out. We have them again in October. And you talk about next year, they're going to have so much talent returning. This is going to be a dangerous team over the next year and a half, if not longer. Yeah, with Coach Jolly at the helm, they've done a great job at competing tonight. They've put themselves in a lot of good positions throughout this football game, and they're just looking to keep adding to it right now on offense. So the Mustangs now third and five of the 10 yard line of Hogan Prep. Yeah, you talked about all this talent and it's young, so it's exciting 
especially this junior class. So the handoff, oh, what a tackle, and that's Tyson. Once again, Mr. Franks, the senior, comes in and gets the stop after a modest gain of one by Levi Shen. You know, you see the guys we talked about in our pregame hooking up on a play. Frank stops Shen after a modest gain of one. So fourth down and four at the nine yard line for Eldon. They've got no choice but to go for it on fourth and four. Yeah, absolutely. They got to get in the end. They got to get a first down or put some points on the board and yeah, stay in this football game with nine minutes left. Hendricks will throw into the flat. He's got his man. That's a nice play. Caught and possessed right there, the three yard line. And that's our guy we've talked about all night long. Randall, he's had a nice night and he finds himself a factor in the passing game. So good job by Elvin now to convert on fourth down and four. Just a very simple play into the flat. And Shane Randall makes the catch and possesses the ball, giving the Mustangs a first down and goal to go situation from inside the Hogan prep four. Owen oh, Tam, your receiver, top of your screen. Hendricks now pitch out to Levi Shin. He'll try to seal the edge, puts his shoulder down, but nothing doing. And of course, guess who? Number nine, Levi Shin Damon, Buford. Damon Buford. I haven't seen him miss a tackle yet. The only thing that kid's done wrong tonight was his pass interference. It was a really tough situation, but of all the Hogan prep players we've been impressed with, I'm not sure there's one I've been more impressed with than this young Buford kid. He can tackle and tackle sure-handed, and he's only a sophomore. Yeah, really impressed with his skill set. So second down and goal to go from the four. Under center quarterback Hendricks, he's going to give it ahead, and that's going to be Randall who's into the end zone for an Eldon touchdown, and that'll pull this one to a 16-point ball game with just over eight minutes to go. So don't look now, folks. Eldon still very much alive in this ball game. Only 16 points. We'll see what happens on this ensuing point after try. We'll see if they can't cut it to 15. We obviously may see an onside kick attempt here by the Mustangs. We'll see if they try this extra point or will they try a two-point conversion. Yeah, that Mustang scoring drive was brought to you by Rick Ball Auto Mall. When all the other dealers tell you nobody can beat their deal, head to Rick Ball, Ford Lincoln, and Sedalia and ask for Mr. Nobody. Rick Ball at Ford Lincoln and Sedalia. Timeout, Eldon. So Eldon has to burn their second timeout. That could prove costly. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the remainder of this one. You're watching Lake TV's Game of the Week. But nobody earns your business like Rick Ball Ford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-in, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy. Boonville and Sedalia. Things are looking up. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports. On the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride. Like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of High V. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. And we return here on Lake TV. William Holtz joined by Matt Wamser. Elvin able to capitalize on that. They get the score. They're down 16. And hopefully it's not too little too late. Only eight minutes, two seconds remaining. And we'll see what they do here on this extra point attempt. And it's the handoff. And that's a nice play and into the end zone. It's good. It's going to be Levi Shin into the end zone. The two-point conversion good. So it's a 14-point ball game. Hogan Prep now leads 40 to 26. Shane Randall, rather, the ball carrier, he finds himself in the end zone for the two-point conversion. He had the touchdown, so a very good possession for Mr. Randall. We'll be back after this. You're watching Lake TV's Game of the Week. Burgers. Hi, I'm Steven Berger, and this is my brother, Philip. 
As you know, Stephen, back in 1952, a small block building was constructed on our grandparents' farm. It was called the Ham House. Since then, it's grown tremendously, and so have the number of choices. People frequently ask, what is the best ham I can buy? The answer is, it depends. Of course, the next question is, it depends on what? It depends on the flavor you prefer. We have three kinds of ham, country, city, and European style. Let's start with country ham. These hams are cured using our family recipe and an aging process that gives them a distinctive flavor. There are two kinds of country ham, Southern Smokehouse and Attic Aged. Southern Smokehouse hams are aged up to six months. The color will be a light pink, the texture firm but not tough, and have a pleasant smoky aroma. We use enough salt to preserve the ham, but it's not overwhelming. They're available cooked and uncooked. Southern Smokehouse hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter B at the beginning of the item number. Attic aged hams are aged up to nine months. The additional age will create a deeper red color, a slightly firmer texture, and a more robust flavor. The presence of salt may be a little more noticeable due to the extended aging process. These are also available cooked or uncooked. Attic aged hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter A at the beginning of the item number. Now let's talk about our popular city hams. They are moist cured, which means they are marinated in our special recipe. The result is a ham that is moist and tender. They are famous for their- Like TV back here, wherever you're watching, whether it's Como Connect Channel 90 or Charter 197, whether on Roku or MyLakeTV.com, we appreciate you watching tonight in a ball game, plus some we've had. We've got 66 points scored, still eight minutes remaining in the ball game. And don't worry, for all you high school football fanatics out there wondering about our lake area teams, in the area, we'll have some scoring updates for you in just a moment. Shin kicks one high and deep. That one lands, bounces right there. Picked up by number seven on the play, Brian Jackson. He makes a couple of guys miss. And then tackled there by number 17, Tristan Warney. The junior, he had an interception a week ago. It's nice to get his name in there. I'd like to tell our viewers about a great deal at Quick Car Wash in detail. It's the 48 hour clean car guarantee. If it rains and spots on your car, if a bird makes an unwanted deposit or you drive down a dusty road, it doesn't matter. Quick Car will wash it again for free within 48 hours. Just save your receipt, bring your car back up to Quick Car and come out looking as good as new. That's Quick Car Wash in Detail. Really an important set of downs. You can't stress it enough here. Elvin defense. Oh, we got a flag here. Why we do, I want to tell you a little bit about scores going around the area. Osage is in the fourth at Moberly and they hold a slim advantage. They lead by a score of 27 to 21. The Versailles Tigers, they travel to Fulton tonight and they're getting beat very handily in that one in the fourth quarter. And California is still leading the Mexico Bulldogs by a score of 21 to zero. And the Lakers trail by a score of 19 to 13. In Springfield, they're playing West Plains and there's just a couple minutes left in that one. So we'll let you know how that one concludes. And here's Davis again breaking free, and he's across midfield to the 40, and he'll take that all the way to the house from 81 yards out, and these long plays are attributed to missed tackles by the Elvin Mustangs. Every time you think they might sneak back into this, you see a long play. That was 81 yards. We've had plays of 38 yards by Mr. Collins, 80-yard run by Mr. Collins, a 76-yard touchdown run by Morgan Peterson, the quarterback, and now an 81-yard run by Deron Davis. He's had himself a ball game as well. That Hogan, Hogan prep scoring drive was brought to you by Save-A-Lot. Are you a smart saver? Well, you can be by joining Save-A-Lot Smart Shoppers Club. It's free. Just visit Save-A-Lot.com and click on Smart Shoppers Club. And remember, you always save a lot when you shop at Save-A-Lot in Camdenton just north of Camdenton on Route 5. That's save a lot. The two-point conversion is successful on the run by Grigsby, but I think we're going to have a block in the back here. Bottom of your screen, I saw an Eldon player hit the dirt, and yeah, it's going to be a block in the back, so that'll be skewed back, I think, 10, maybe 15 yards. While the refs get this sorted out, Lake TV would like to thank all of it, all of tonight's sponsors, bringing you Friday night game of the week. 
We'd like to thank Save-A-Lot and Camden Tin, Yacht Cub Power Sports here in Osage Beach. We've also got Burgers Smokehouse. Check them out at smokehouse.com and place an order. Rick Ball Auto Mall, Ford Lincoln in Sedalia, one of our proud sponsors. And don't forget about Quick Car Wash and Detail. So here's the second attempt, Brigsby in motion. Peterson now, he'll keep it. He rolls up the end of the end zone and that's good. He finds number 44. That's his guy Kareem Sanders, the junior tight end. And that's the first time we've called his name. So 48-26, your score here at Lake TV's high school football coverage will continue after this. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Ball Ford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-ins, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. We're back here on Leg TV. The Mustangs now all but done in this one. Down 22 points with 743 left. We'll see if they can't pull off the unprobable of victories. Here's the kick now. Deep. Oh, taken out of the end zone. That's a touchback. I think that's a very fortunate break on the call. The end zone. The Mustangs will take over first and 10 on their own 20 yard line. Cole Hedrick, lucky they didn't rule that. He caught it in field. It looked like he may have fielded that inside the three off his mitts into the end zone, but they're going to get a touchback. So Eldon will take over the 20 yard line, down by a score of 48-26. We'll see what they do here on this possession. carrier on the play. He's taken down for a two-yard loss, and it's Tyus Franks, the tackler. He gets in the backfield and makes a really nice play. He's been making some nice plays tonight. Second down and 12 now. Under center is Hendricks. Actually, Kepker out there now. He's going to roll outside. He puts his head down in a nice play by Kepker. Fear no evil, young man. Could have stepped out of bounds. Lowers his head as much as we like to see that. I'm not sure Coach Jolly likes to see that in a 22-point ball game. See his promising backup quarterback take a hit like that. Absolutely. This Eldon offense is just refusing to give up. This whole Eldon team just fighting throughout this entire game. Kemker now under center, keeps it, rolls out right. He's brought down by a gang of Hogan prep tacklers. Looks like a gain of about three yards on that third down play. Let's bring it up, bring it up fourth and five here for the Mustangs. Their own 27 yard line. So fourth down and three now with six minutes remaining. It's Kepka rolling out. He's going to try to get outside to get the first down and he'll be pushed out shy of the marker. And so Hogan Prep takes over there on downs at the 544 mark left in the fourth quarter. With that change of possession, Lake TV would like to thank its sponsor, Burger Smokehouse. They've been serving simple tradition since 1950. Burger Smokehouse in California, Missouri. They ship custom gift packs to all 50 states. It doesn't get more than that.
that. Visit them online at smokehouse.com and place your order today. Yeah, tonight you just see a case of bigger, stronger, faster, maybe not better coached or better disciplined, just bigger athletes, stronger athletes, and missed tackling by Eldon really was the storyline. And it wasn't that Eldon didn't come out and put up a fight. Here's the handoff now by quarterback Peterson. Number three, Edward Collins on the carry. We have a flag on the play. While the refs sort out that flag on the field, let's thank our sponsor, Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach. They're proud to announce the addition of nine new product lines, such as Vespa, Polaris, Kawasaki, Ducati, and more. Now Yacht Club Power Sports can deliver the best selection and the best prices. Check out their dealership in Osage Beach for a great deal on any power sport toy. So you have a hold against Hogan Prep and at the 536 mark they do lead by 22 points but Eldon now hoping to try to get a stop here and get the ball back in the high school athlete you always love to get playing time it doesn't matter what the situation is these Eldon kids are going to continue to fight and as are the Hogan Prep guys yeah it's been a very competitive game on both sides of the ball great job by both schools really coming to play tonight under the lights so Morgan Peterson remains in at quarterback, hands it. That's Collins. He makes a few guys miss before being taken down there. That's a nice gain of about 10 yards. Nice tackle outside by number 27, Owen Tam. Edward Collins carrying the ball. Chris Lemon also in on the stop with Tam. And that's going to bring up a second down and eight now. Temperature dropping here in Eldon. We're at Victor Field, only in its second year in existence and quite a scene for high school football. This has been the track for Eldon Athletics over the course of the last 10 to 15 years. And with the recent renovations, it's a beautiful place to watch a game under the lights. That's Davis now outside, spins off a couple tacklers, keeping the pile moving. and. It'll be blown dead just at the 21 yard line after four yards gained by Davis. And that's gonna bring up a third down and four. We're now at the 430 mark in this one. And this one all but over, but like we talked about, kids will continue to fight. Yeah, and these kids are out here competing. This is a, this is a great opportunity for them. To not only see themselves on TV, but get out on the football field and really compete. You know. Some of these kids won't be moving on to the next level, and this is going to be it for them. So I love for Lake TV having this opportunity to put them on TV, really go out there and show what they've got on the high school football level. So third and four now. It's going to be Collins. He's going to get across the 15-yard line. He'll be stopped there, and that's a gain of six on third and four. And that's good for another first down by Hogan Prep, and they continue to move the ball here. Already leading by 22 late in this one. Yeah, this second half has been... Uh, been led by a, a bunch of huge plays by Hogan Prep. They've really broken off at least three different touchdown runs of about 80 plus yards. So really a great individual effort and just great athletic ability by this Hogan Prep squad and some great plays out there. Yeah, we talk about the big plays. They've had four scores in this half, all of 38 yards plus. So Peterson now the give. That's Brigsby outside and he's gonna be taken down there by a couple of Elvin guys. Nice job by number 10 for the Mustangs. Austin Kempker and number 20, Nathan Mislovich, the fullback. Nice run, I'll tell you what, Hogan Prep has a lot of guys that came to play. So do the Mustangs, you can't say enough about the job Nick Hendricks did at quarterback tonight. Austin Kempker came in and made some plays on both sides of the ball. And of course, Levi Shin and Shane Randall had an excellent night carrying the ball, and both kids ought to be proud of their efforts this evening. Under center now, Peterson. He gives the pitch, that's Collins. He gets outside, cutting back inside, making a couple of guys miss, and we've got a flag. You could see an illegal chop block, maybe a hold against Hogan Prep. Lake TV would like to thank its sponsor, Quick Car Wash and Detail. 
you need to check out their 48 hour clean car guarantee. If it rains and spots your car, if a bird makes an unwanted deposit, or if you drive down a dusty road, no matter what it is, Quick Car will wash it again for free within 48 hours. Just save your receipt, bring your car back by, and you'll be looking as good as new after Quick Car cleans you up. Check them out in Osage Beach. Tell you what, Eldon offense and defensive line has to hold their head high. I tell you, this is a bigger, stronger bunch but the likes of Garrett Scrivener, Thaxton May, Dalton Shoemate, Dale Folsom, and Graham Bauckham did everything they could tonight on both sides of the ball to give themselves an advantage. And you can't say you're anything but impressed with their effort. So out of the shotgun on second and 17, quarterback Peterson, Morgan Peterson, out of the shotgun, in motions Brigsby. And there's a fumble. Peterson now steps it up. It's on the ground. And who recovers? Peterson gets it. That'll be all the way back to the 31 yard line. So a nine yard loss will bring up a third down and 26 for Hogan Prep. We got two minutes remaining in this one. Yeah, that might be the first miss, miss cue I've seen by this Hogan Prep, Prep offense. They've been running really efficiently tonight and doing a great job putting up 48 points this evening. Yeah, and Eldon came out in the second half, really, really hung with him. If it wasn't for those big plays we talked about, you had Levi Shin, he ran for a touchdown, he caught a touchdown. And then, of course, you had Randall, Shane Randall, the young man. He had a nice play up the middle for a score in that Eldon possession earlier. So here's the run. Collins bounces off a would-be tackler. He gets outside, making a man miss. He's up ahead to the 10. Quarterback downfield making blocks, and that's Peterson. Spring holding is running back in Collins from 30 yards this time. Finds the end zone once again. That's his fourth touchdown of the night. This one from 30 yards out. And once again, missed tackling the case. Not a whole lot you can do against these athletes. That Hogan prep score was brought to you by Burger Smokehouse. You've got to check them out. They've got the best bacon in the country, and it comes from California. California, Missouri, that is. Once you've tasted Burger Smokehouse bacon, you'll never buy any other brand again, I guarantee it. Visit smokehouse.com and bring home the bacon today. Burger Smokehouse, happy to send a sample. I'm getting hungry about now. The extra point up and a nice attempt trying to block right there. In on the play, you gotta love the effort by these Eldon kids, although good. Number 57 for the Mustangs, Josh Johns and there. He had a couple of picks last week, or Thaxton May, rather. So we're going to give you a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We have a minute 20 remaining on Lake TV. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports, on the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride, like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of Hy-Vee. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. This high school football game of the week has been brought to you by Camdenton Save-A-Lot Food Stores. Rick Ball Ford in Sedalia, Burger Smokehouse, Simple Tradition Since 1952, and Quick Car, Wash, Detail, and Loop. Lake TV is going to conclude our coverage of Friday Game of the Week now. We got a minute 20 in this fourth quarter remaining in number eight, Hedrick, and what a block thrown on by Austin Kempker. Man, the tail end of that play, he put a ram on his butt. Cole Hedrick had the return, but Austin Kempker with the highlight block on that one. We got a minute 13 left in this one. This Lake TV broadcast would not be possible without the support of Yacht Club Power Sports, the nation's number one sea dealer right here at the Lake of the Ozarks. Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach. Stop by, check out their August invoice sale for the lowest prices of the year. That's Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach online at ycpowersports.com. So Eldon now giving their young guys an opportunity to get in there. Hendricks remains in at quarterback. He throws in a nice catch there by Levi Shin. Still in there, he makes the catch. He's got 11, and that's good for a Mustang. First down, you gotta be impressed by this Shin kid. Only a junior, and as good as he runs the ball and catches the ball, he might 
hold his best attribute in his leg. That kid can kick the ball. So Hendricks now outside. He rolls, throws into the flat, looking for Shin once again. And right as we sing his praises, the young man unable to corral that one. So second down and 10 upcoming with a minute left. Don't go anywhere. For our viewers who are watching and wondering about scores around the league, we have a final from Fulton. The Versailles Tigers fall by a final of 43 to six. Nice job last week by Coach Silver's team to get the win after last year going 0-10. Unable to get the job done tonight in Fulton, but don't look, this Versailles team is gonna have a decent season, especially compared to last year's 0-10 campaign. Here's Hendricks out of the shotgun now. He rolls, misdirection, and a dangerous one. That incomplete. That could have been a backwards lateral. I think the referee closest to the quarterback thought it was, but the far sideline side judge blows it dead on the incomplete pass. So third down and 10, we also have a final out of Springfield as West Plains defeats your Camdenton Lakers by a score of 19 to 13. It was a late squib kick that Camdenton was unable to pick up and West Plains able to crowd that one. So they walk away with their first loss of the season. Hendricks on third and 10. He wings it deep, looking for Shin. And that is incomplete. Intercepted on the play, but out of bounds. Nice catch by number 81, Jordan Carrick, the sophomore defensive back. And I'll tell you what, as young as this Eldon team is, this Ram team from Hogan Prep is that deep. They've got freshmen and sophomores in there making plays. They're gonna be good for years to come as they're always expected to be under coach Lascola. 21st season, he's had over 150 victories in his 10 years, six district titles. 2006, they were the state runner-up. Here's the pitch out, a misdirection play. That's number 15 for the Mustangs. That's Trenton Kidwell on the end of round. He's got some room to the 30, to the 20, to the 15, and to the house. Pulling a trick out of his bag. Coach Jolly, the end of round, and Trenton Kidwell, the young man. Gets the touchdown, and you gotta love that for the young man getting some time late, and it's paying dividends. He takes that one 59 yards to the house, and that's gotta feel good to get some playing time this late in the ball game. Kudos to Coach Jolly for drawing that up and giving Mr. Kidwell an opportunity. I'll tell you what, Kidwell comes from a nice line of athletes. His older sister, Kayton Kidwell, was one of the better softball players in recent memory here at Eldon, she's here watching with her mom and dad and they've gotta like what they see at a younger brother, Trenton. So here's the snap, the hold by Hendricks, the kick by Shin, and this one's good, so Levi Shin showing off his leg, puts that one through. So we're gonna keep it right here for just a minute. The Mustangs pull this to 22 points with 33 seconds. We're gonna go to commercial. With nobody earns your business like Rick Ball Ford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade in, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy. Boonville and Sedalia. At Save A Lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40%. Welcome to Lake of the Ozarks. You're watching Lake TV, your visitor information station on Charter Cable Channel 197 and Como Connect Channel 90 or from anywhere at MyLakeTV.com. Stay tuned to Lake TV to get all the latest on activities and attractions, events, entertainment, boating, outdoors, shopping, lake history, and dining at Lake of the Ozarks. Back here on Lake TV and Eldon, a late score by Trenton Kidwell in the end of round from 59 yards. Levi Shin set to kick from the 40. That's a low kick, that's gonna drop in there. And nice grab by number 50. That's the key we've been talking about tonight on defense and offensive line 
William Bradley King very alertly grabs that and recovers it. So if I'm correct, I would think that Coach LaScola will have his quarterback take a couple of knees and we'll conclude this ball game with a score of 55 to 33. After that, we'll go to break with a couple of commercials and come back with a post-game wrap-up show brought to you by Burger Smokehouse. So don't turn off your television set, folks, after the ball game's over. Yeah, you can always catch our games every Friday night. We're going to be live on Charter Communications, channel 197. And now on the new Como Network, Lake TV on channel 90. Check out our station on Como Connect. Coach. Cha yeah, it's really nice that Lake TV is able to bring their viewers so many different outlets to watch their ball games. And don't forget, if you didn't happen to catch the whole ball game tonight, you'll be able to watch it later throughout the week, Sunday through Thursday, airing at 7 p.m. on Lake TV. What a broadcast we were able to put together for you tonight. And we're always on YouTube, so the final knee of the ball game is complete. Your final score here in Victor Field, the Hogan Prep Rams come into Eldon and win by the score of 55-33. We'll be back on Lake TV with a post-game wrap-up show brought to you by Burger Smokehouse. Okay, I'm gonna try to get some final numbers. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Ball Ford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-in, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports. On the water. are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports on the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride, like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of High V. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. Save a lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot, savings made easy.
visit your local Save-A-Lot in Camdenton, located on North Business Route 5. Nobody but nobody earns your business like Rick Balford. Low overhead means everyday low prices, big trade-ins, and satisfied customers. Take a little drive this weekend and save some big bucks. That's the Rick Ball way to buy, Boonville and Sedalia. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. Lake TV returns here. Our post-game wrap-up show brought to you by Murder Smokehouse. A final of 55-33. Eldon hangs with them, but unable to get the job done versus a very athletic and strong Hogan Prep Ram team. And tonight, you was just the key would have to be missed tackles and big plays late in the ball game. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think Eldon did a great job of competing against a, a very tough Hogan Prep team and really put themselves in a lot of good positions throughout the entire game to stick with it and even climb back in and maybe get a chance to tie this ball game. But really, Hogan Prep, just with their big play capability, just too many times breaking tackles and having huge plays for touchdowns. Yeah, big plays were the story late in the ball game. Second half, you had runs of 38 yards, 80 yards, 76 yards, 81 yards, and then finally a 30-yard run by Edward Collins. He'd have to be our player of the game. He had over 200 yards rushing, and he found the end zone four times tonight, and missed tackles were the key. As far as our wrap-up coverage, we have finals for all of our Lake Area teams. For sales falls at Fulton by a final 43-6. to We'd like to thank Pastor Jerry Piker for the updates on that game. Camdenton down to West Plains. They could not get that one done late. They fell 19-13. to We got that off of their Facebook page. Osage leads Moberly with a minute to play, 35-34. to We may be able to give you a final on that one. And then the California Pintos win over New Mexico by a score of 21-0. to Ernie with California Athletics was able to keep us updated, so we thank our spotters and people able to give us calls and text on those so we can keep our viewers informed. And, of course, we thank you guys for watching, and we wouldn't be able to make these broadcasts possible without our sponsors. Matt, go ahead and give our sponsors another shout-out. Yeah, like TV would, would definitely like to thank Burger Smokehouse. Check them out at smokehouse.com. Uh, Rick Ball Auto Mall, Ford Lincoln in Sedalia. Quick Car, Wash and Detail here in Osage Beach. We've got um, Yacht Club Power Sports. We want to thank them for sponsoring Fr Lake TV's Friday Night Game of the Week. And then the other thing we want to talk about is the Ellen Mustangs came in 1-0, back-to-back district championships. You know, they really hung with a really strong Hogan prep team. It was just more athletic, stronger, but you got to love the effort. Levi Shin found the end zone once through the air, once on the ground. The late touchdown by Trenton. Uh, Kidwell, he got the end around for 59 yards. And of course, you got to be impressed with the quarterback play by Mr. Hendricks. He did well, and then Austin Kempker came in and did some nice things. So this Eldon team, they're young, and their future is going to be very bright. Late in the year, I don't want to play this Eldon team if I'm on their schedule because they're going to be a very, very tough out. We're going to conclude. Thank you for watching. I'm William Holtz, my color commentator, Matt Wamser, and we're going to give you a moment. Thank you to Burger Smokehouse. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Steven Berger, and this is my brother, Philip. As you know, Steven, back in 1952, a small block building was constructed on our grandparents' farm. It was called the Ham House. Since then, it's grown tremendously, and so have the number of choices. People frequently ask, what is the best ham I can buy? The answer is, it depends. Of course, the next question is, it depends on what? It depends on the flavor you prefer. We have three kinds of ham, country, city, and European style. Let's start with country ham. These hams are cured using our family recipe and an aging process that gives them a distinctive flavor. There are two kinds of country ham, Southern Smokehouse and Attic Aged. Southern Smokehouse hams are aged up to six months. The color will be a light pink, the texture firm but not tough, and have a pleasant smoky aroma. We use enough salt to preserve the ham, but it's not overwhelming. They're available cooked and uncooked. Southern Smokehouse hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter B at the beginning of the item number. Attic aged hams are aged up to nine months. The additional age will create a deeper red color, a slightly firmer texture, and a more robust flavor. 
The presence of salt may be a little more noticeable due to the extended aging process. These are also available cooked or uncooked. Attic aged hams can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter A at the beginning of the item number. Now let's talk about our popular city hams. They are moist cured, which means they are marinated in our special recipe. The result is a ham that is moist and tender. They are famous for their pleasing balance of sweetness with an accent of real hickory smoke. All city hams are cooked and can be found in our catalog or website by looking for the letter H at the beginning of the item number. Spiral slice city hams are very popular because the flavor is widely accepted and they are a convenient centerpiece for any occasion. The dry curing methods used to make our country ham came from Europe many years ago. Out of respect for their great curing tradition, we offer several European style hams. These hams are typically sliced paper thin and consumed uncooked. We offer prosciutto, black forest, Westphalian, and German country hams. They are often used to complement other foods. Okay, Philip, this sounds pretty simple. We have two kinds of country ham, the milder southern smokehouse and the more robust attic aged. We also have our very popular city ham, as well as several European style hams. But there are a lot of options to choose from. There are a lot of options to choose from because we offer many different sizes and services that allow you to choose just the right ham. The cataloger website will tell you if the ham is cooked, sliced, glazed, or pepper coated, as well as describe any other unique features. We take pride in offering the largest selection of Craftsman quality ham products available anywhere in the United States. We look forward to becoming a part of your family's tradition. Burger Smokehouse, simple traditions since 1952.